I am sure sports. You know me there, yeah? I'm coach to coach representing. I'm going to say this is right, just representing for Omar. You don't know, come get your sports over here from near and far. Boy, 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 boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost, and share. I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost, and share. Yeah, share. If me not sure, that me, me not say it. No who score, that, that me, me, me not say it. Never know no game play, that, that me, me not say it. If me never seen a game, me not know who play. For your sports news, better come over here, so. For your soccer news, then come over here, so. If you don't love sports, still come over here. For the day, don't you have a love over your son? So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil or Argentina with these crapper players. We are good enough. Remember, like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Trick Nick Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? Sports for the best authentic sportswear. You check Winter Sports when you want the best authentic sportswear. Winter Sports. Food chain driver type street. And for rural outs are the numbers. Remember, no easy laugh, no bomb. Some sports for the tech notes. Them full of dreams and whoops. Them why them come a sell rope. When there is only one, yeah, there is only one goat. And that a will sod, yeah, that a will sod, yeah, that a will sod sports. Yeah, ball boots, ball tops, ball shots, string yard, ball socks. Them kind of drip you quick for make your ex call back. Little quick, this is my boots and ball out. I want that. My Nike ticket pretty, I'm a leader, salt black. Dribble down, you feel it, grip, and feel my can drop. Slide tackle all my own team, and all this now pop. Why? Because I'm buy this supper. Oh. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. First, you have to let me know if you're hearing me loudly and clearly before I even introduce my guests. Are you hearing me? Let's check all our settings. Please let me know if you're hearing. Let's see what's going on with our audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am Manningsman. And we have been absent for a while. Want to say a big welcome to all of you who are watching the channel today and this wonderful, wonderful start of the week. Always say that we look to the hills from whence come at our help. Our help comes from the Most High God. He has made the heavens and the earth, and he will not suffer our foot to be moved. He that keeps us, he never slumbers, and he never sleeps. Uh, welcome to Sherman Scott. He says, one done, Clarendon, big up to you, man in the man. All right, Kevin Williams is also here. Jason Guna. Hey, Jason Guna, listen, congratulations, man. You need to invite me on your channel. You haven't done that yet. No, he started his new channel called Jason Guna TV. Right? Big up, my brother. Big up to Fresh God. Uh, Jew Fortis is here. And there are many others of you who are in the comment section. You haven't yet added a comment. And so, you know, once you do that, we will highlight you. Again, we ask you to do a few things once you come on to the platform, right? It's very easy um, to do. So get on the platform. Once you get on, on the platform, here's what we're going to ask you to do. Very, very simple. Hit the like button 
Number one. Number two, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And that number three, you can share the content of the channel with someone else. So like you, they can be a subscriber. Outside of that, we have a way that you can be a member of the channel. You can um, become a member of I Am Sure Sports membership is very easy, right? Um, yep. So you can be a member of the channel by hitting and signing up through our membership process right you can send a super sticker you can send a super chat all right so here we go this morning we we you know um we had some breaking news yesterday um in in the footballing landscape and so we're going to get straight into it because we have the very busy general secretary of the jamaica football federation you know him very well um some of you have been wondering what has been happening to him because we haven't heard from him on YouTube in a while. He has taken up bigger, better platforms. So he's a major media personality. When I say media, I mean like he's in the mainstream media and has um, deserted the loyal fans of YouTube. But he makes a grand return today. I hope he has lots of goodies and good information to share with us. He is the General Secretary for the Jamaica Football Federation. All right. Um mr dennis chong so let me invite him to the platform mr chong good morning sir how are you doing man i don't know if what you're saying is a compliment <laughs> or, or otherwise <laughs> it, it, it is a compliment man it is a compliment i mean the only way it's not a compliment is if you know you um you're really not not showing us on youtube any love which i know you always <laughs> do <laughs> good to have you i mean i would say you're looking fresh and green as they would say but i don't want to mention any green or orange in my conversation <laughs> i would say I, I, then, I, would, I would then have to ask you who win <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go and then i'll say that i'd have to check my calculation because you know all calculators have different results yeah. so we will leave it uh, at that but uh Again, welcome to the, the, the channel, Mr. Chung. Yeah, I, man, I, no yeah, man, I bring you on just on some uh, information that has been out in the public. I think it was mm -hmm. on um, two of our most popular radio stations throughout yesterday about the uh, 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 information sent from Fifth Pro, who yeah. are the representatives of the Jamaica Senior Women's Football Team, in particular, um, the group of ladies who were at the world cup world predominantly cup, yeah. right mm -hmm. and um responding to this um long-standing rift between both parties in terms of um what is owing um what needs to, to be paid but you are more privy to the information so i'm going to ask you to share with us what is the most recent update and then from there we can ask some questions to get further clarity as the need arises yeah so i mean it has been a few months um in terms of us discussing with the girls obviously you know um you know what what the girls wanted it to see what our competitions were um, because you know there are about three points that were raised in the letters the the first two um we had dealt with and the matter of the reconciliation around the payments which we had finalized from our perspective from last october um they asked us to send us send them the information now it was a lot of computations so you know the spreadsheets were sent it was not just around the world cup payments but rather uh, all the, the the payments that are even before that for 2023 and some one or two might have been outstanding even before that um so we sent it to them um you know and the the, the discussions with the representative from fifth pro has been good you know um and we shared all the information with them we shared the contact at fifa and also the australian tax office who would have assisted us with the competition we didn't do it alone and um you know they had come back to us in about december and december 19th and said that um they can confirm that all girls had received payments right um and then we were just waiting on the final reconciliation. So they came back to us yesterday and um, they, they, they said that there were there was 
some slight amounts that were outstanding of amounting to about 2,500 US total um, for about three girls. So we've been checking that from yesterday. Um, I think that the checks have been complete now. So as soon as it is confirmed, if it's 2,500, if it's 2,000, that's outstanding, we're going to be paying that. And that would have then settled all of that. Um, before the or, or just around the, the Chile game, when we had selected the squad, um, we had advised the the girls through the representative and also directly um, through the manager that the JFF, having satisfied ourselves that um, you know we had discharged all our obligations and and and, and met everything, um, we would have be suspend we would have been removing the the um suspension on the selection so the girls as far as we are concerned you know are available for selection and we've communicated that to the coach um and in fact in the last game we had reached out to eight of the college girls who had gone to work up and they said they weren't available because of of school duties uh, so you know we, we, we've started to make that transition and we expect that the coach is going to look at the full complement of persons um, that he has available which you know with, with these young girls who came in from the gold cup until now who have represented us very well um and really did, did well for their their national colors and jamaica um they have basically expanded the pool to about 50. so you know that that's a good thing for jamaica um that we have about 50 persons and Remember, a lot of these young girls would, in three years' time, would be at the prime age, you know, that you talk about where, where a footballer normally is. So, you know, we have a, a good crop of girls to play with. But uh, we're happy that we've got to this point. We're hoping that everything is now resolved um, since we have no other issue that has been brought up. And, um, you know, we, we, we communicated that to him, to, to the fifth pro representative. Um, and also, of course, on receiving it, I, of course, copied the, or sent it, forwarded it to the various stakeholders, the board of directors, for example, and other stakeholders that had interest in it, um, just to let them know where we are. Um, so, you know, we're hoping that everything is, is settled now. All right. So, so. I mean, I have some questions, but I will take, you, you know, that I know that you and Cranky has been back and forth and a lot of this. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I know just just outside of your presence, he has been very disappointed with he believed and I, I speak for him in terms of how the girls dealt with it. But he felt like also the administration um, should have been more gung ho in, in 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 reaching out to them or publicizing information earlier to kind of probably expose what was what was there so that it could have been resolved so his first comment is this this should have been resolved a long time ago the program has been set back at least two years because of ego and stubbornness so i think his ego is probably ego on the jff side and stubbornness on the on the girl yeah, on the yeah, yeah. so, so i mean I, to that? yeah i don't i don't agree with that um you know, I think that there, there are things that, that, that obviously he would not be um, privy to. So I can speak from that point of view. Um, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I think that we've done everything. We, as I said, we did all the payments from October. Um, Cranky was one of those who didn't believe what we were saying. But I don't think there was any ego um, on our part. We, you know, we, we, we did what we needed to do in terms of... Um, doing the, the, the computations, making the payment, getting, ensuring that the funds come in, you know, 1.5 million US is not a, a small amount of money to get a hold of. Um, and, and also, you know, ensure that it's properly accounted for, because that's very important for us, you know. So we need to ensure that every dime that we spend is accounted for, uh, because we have to account to FIFA. So, I mean, I think that that comment is, is is, is is not accurate um and i wouldn't call it stubbornness on the point part of the girls i mean you know they they have they have issues and they want to address it you don't you don't refer to persons 
um, issues as, as stubbornness. It's just they have some issues they want to resolve, and we have been responding to it. So I would not agree with that. And everything happens in the time it's supposed to happen. You know, one, yeah, but, one can always look back and say, you know, that, you know, 20, it, hindsight is twenty twenty. But, you know, I, yeah, I think it, that I think that as much as possible has been done to resolve it. The inaugural Gold Cup that is being played now, Jamaica is absent. And yeah. I think that is the question, like, this is this is based on your computation and what was sent from FIFPRO. It is, it is pointing to an amount of 2,500 that that has led to this lots of things being said about the jff lots of things have been said about the girls um so so there's a lot of things being said whether true or not but just a smearing of the, the reputation character of the parties involved over 2500 like you have rightly said when over 1.5 million dollars was was paid out i mean yeah. so the question is was there yeah, well, well, well management, management, yeah. let me say this to you. Our stance has been the same from October okay. that we have paid the funds and we have nothing outstanding. What I have said is that there might be some minor discrepancies, but based on the computations that I saw in the spreadsheets that we went through, we have always maintained that it was paid. I can't help if it people like Cranky don't believe me when I say something. <laughs> so but I get you to call Cranky to come on the show and I don't know what yeah, that's because but you're we have fight. consistently, <laughs> we have been consistent yeah. in our message. And I think, speaking for the girls, they have what they think are legitimate concerns they need to iron out. As I said at the start, it is a lot of information. And therefore, they might want to go through everything and we have to give them that yeah but, right? but we have always maintained the same line from october right yeah. obviously there are certain things that we are not going to discuss publicly because we have to respect the situation of, of each party all right so so in total for three girls which if you, if you do the division it's around eight hundred dollars per girl yeah if, if you know just working in terms of, of math 25 2500 three eight right three is 24. so it's around it, so I, it's hard to believe that since october this is the amount that has really held up the program and has caused like i said much to be said about the jff and much to be said about the girls like I said, there is a setback because qualifying for the Gold Cup would have brought in major resources, right? Whether well, 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 that's not necessarily so, but 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 it would have it would have been beneficial. Beneficial, for both for the for the girls. I'm thinking because yeah, I'm yeah, thinking yeah, like yeah. It would have, it, it would have been able to play. US, USA lost to Mexico, so if the girls yeah. were there, it is possible yeah. that they could have been spotted, highlighted you know increase yeah, yeah. their value so there's a there's a lot that has been intangibles that have been lost in the yeah, process yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. it's hard to believe that october november december january february march for six months six months it's it took us to work out eight hundred dollars for three persons um three persons eight hundred dollars each for three persons and from listening to you and Ari from and um on hits i believe um explosion yesterday it seemed like these are claim causes they are not actually yet proven to be true causes it seemed no, like, they're, these they're, are like, like yeah, yeah we're, we're, claims we're, for stuff right we're, we're, right right a lot, a lot a, 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 um some of it are, are are for claims um there are some per them in there and maybe um three match fees for each you know which is included in that um but but there are claims um that are in it for baggage um uber and that sort of thing which um which is like a 30 dollar 60 dollar or something like that um some of those are in there um and we have to verify it though so we, we're okay. trying to get the receipts because we would have gone through all the reimbursements and we think that we've paid out everything but if there are reimbursements that can be justified, then obviously 
you know, will pay. But the, when I spoke to the accountant, she said that she has paid everything that she has. Um, but, you know, I know it has been a few months. As I said, um, we have made, we have been very consistent about our message from October. Right? We haven't shifted. I would have said, listen, we have paid everything that we have on our records outstanding. Right? And we maintain that. Right? Um, now, if people believe me or believe us, it's another thing. Mm -hmm. But you know, one thing I learned about I learned Manning's man is that credibility is only built over time, right? Yeah. They don't get credibility right away, right? Um, so we have been very consistent, and you know, um, I think that some people have been irrational in terms of how they have interpreted and believed certain things. But we've been consistent from the girls' point of view, as I can say. You know, they they would need time. You know, as to how much time it is. You know, only they can determine that, but we would have sent the information requested and they need time. And I, I, I you know, I, I can't blame them for that. You uh, know, has there been, people in, need in, time to go through yeah. and make them. All right. All right. So, so one, there is no suspension of selection anymore. That is, that is done. No, with. no. Yeah, uh, we've, we've removed that. that, so that and and remember, the reason why we had put that in place is because the the, the um, disagreements were there or, or the the issues were there and we did not want to to call anybody up and they said oh we're not available for and the reasons are not justified according to the regulations because that would have been a problem so we actually said to the coach listen we have to suspend the selection for a little while until we sort out this once we know now that we are at this point, we're we're, we're we're removing it. Yeah, yeah. And 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 Manning's man, guess who guess who has just walked in? The, the, <laughs> the, the most important man in the JFF, the president. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ricky's greetings, man. <laughs> you're live on here. You, you're live on here. You're careful what you're saying. It could be used against you in the court of law. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get Mr. Chung to work out this uh, issue with the with the girls. So it's bringing some clarity um, as to you know how things transpired and things. So, but how you doing, man? I, I hear you, you have to hear. You will be hearing from the courts today as well because they. I don't know if it's a next injunction or there's a blocking of man, the injunction. Man, don't come with that, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but there's, there's a court matter today. Is it is it to have an yeah, injunction? Yeah, yeah, but remember that the injunction that was applied for was denied, and it was okay. denied by the Court of Appeal. So this is just a, a court hearing on the direction that we need to go in now. But the elections are on for the 17th. Yes, yes. And yes, it, cannot, it cannot be stopped. Well, you know. As far as we know, you, you call it off? <laughs> No, I no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just making sure. All right. Oh, the, the, Mr. President, um, you have a, a, a man named Sherman Scott say he wants to see you on the screen, cause I don't yes, know. Thank you. <laughs> but no, there's a person called Sherman Scott asking to see the president on the screen. He says he's the one done from Clarendon. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. President. Um. We, we we have cranky here as well, Mr. Chung, because like I said, you have him, you both of you have been going back and forth on this matter. I believe on two separate shows, it was both of you who really had a discussion. And I yeah, man, so I've, I've, I've been going forth and he's been going back. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he just just seeing his um his facial expression and and posture, it doesn't seem like a happy camper today. I don't, don't know for what reason. And, oh, you're not, you're, not, you're not happy that everything is settled now, Cranky? Well, I am unhappy <laughs> about taking two steps forward and three steps backwards. So what do I mean by that? The girls have done a phenomenal job of getting to the second round of the World Cup. Something that's never been done by a team in this region, in the Caribbean region, right? right. Phenomenal job. The coach has exceeded expectation, correct? We had what I call insignificant disagreements between the two parties. Now, some people may think those disagreements are material, then they don't understand what material differences mean, frankly. If you tell me monetarily that we were where we are 
six months ago, right? In terms of difference between what they were paid and what they were paid. If you told me that there were three items which precluded from us to get to a consensus about what this agreement was, but you also tell me, so we talk about the World Cup and achievement. We have an inaugural Gold Cup coming up, and I see Mexico beat the U.S., and I see all, all on my screen games being played. You know who's not there? Jamaica. Because we don't know how to disagree and come to agreement when we have a win-win situation. That's why I'm perturbed. That's why I'm upset. It's rare where a coach which has exceeded expectation achieves something which has never been done by a country gets, in my term, fired. We may be cute with our language and say non-renewal of contract. We can be cute all we want and use euphemism, but his contract wasn't renewed. And he over significantly exceeded expectation. That's rare because you judge based on performance. Now, I have said before, I've tried to be as unbiased as possible when I assess things. I've said the girls were wrong in a number of instances, but the adults in the room is the administration. It's like you're dealing with kids. And some people can say, well, cranky, you're being, you know, you, you are um, talking to girls who are so, grown women as their yeah, kids. So, 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 so let me ask you a question, Frankie. Yeah. Um, what, what, what do you think should have been done differently? I think both sides should have put their ego aside for the larger no, good. No, but that's a, no, but that's a general thing. And, that, that, you know, that's a, the problem I have with, with people, you know, when they speak and speak generally, right? Because... Yeah. You don't arrive at a solution by speaking generally like that. I'm saying, what are the specific actions that should have been done differently in both? Right. So, so, both so, 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 Dennis, here's a specific action. Dennis should yeah. not be sending email to the girls to resolve a situation. Let me finish. Dennis should have called for a meeting of the minds in person or via some medium to have face to face conversation to say, we don't leave this room till we come to a resolution. That's how people negotiate to get things done in business, which you're ingrained right. in. And with the, with the view that, you know what? Both sides should walk away feeling not great, but good about themselves. One side should walk away feeling be disadvantaged and one side feeling happy. That's not business. That's not good outcome. That's the way I view that. Right. So and, you but, but, you're assuming, but you're assuming that, that, that those things were not done and it did not. That, that, that coming out of that, remember... We had a situation where they're saying, okay, this is the group that will speak for us. Then you're not being up around this. Because, because you can't listen, listen, listen. And, yeah. and, and and I think that that is the right decision that was made by the girls. So you you have to have, I mean, even when you're talking about negotiations with, with anybody of people, you're always gonna have a representative group. Because it's just a lot, a lot more efficient that way. And that representative group was in place, which included the girls. I, I mean, it's not everybody at the JFF was also represented. You know, We had a representative group. They had a representative group, right? And they had someone who was acting as mediator for them. So yes, then you know, I don't understand what you're saying Dennis, about you know, that. Dennis, you know, you know what I do in business, Dennis? I work backwards from outcome. You know what that means? I I know exactly what you mean, but but so if you but, work back to some outcome, you'd have gone to a better place. You haven't gotten to a good place. We're not in the gold cup. If you guys seem to fail to realize this, we're not in the gold cup. Inaugural gold cup. Yeah, money yeah, on the table. Yeah. No, I, I hear I hear you, you know, but you see, you see what you're doing, cranky, and a lot of people do too. You speak generally, right? And don't know what are the things specifically that happen. And I think that. You know, both sides had 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 had, had approached it in a certain way. Hindsight is twenty, 20 you know. Everybody, 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 everybody can 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 say what they want to say when they're not in a situation or when the situation has occurred already. Right? So I don't want to I, I, I don't I don't want to I don't I don't want to to cast any any aspersions like the fact of the matter i agree with you we are not in the gold cup and that is not good right that is not good right but you know don't 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 speak um in a way that you know you, you assume 
that certain things were not done. There are certain uh, things that we let, can let, discuss. Let, we're not going to discuss. Ask, let me ask this question because six months ago, right? Uh, I'll give Cranky yeah. some time to probably process his next question. Six months ago, one of the things that came out was that there were nine girls would have gotten in excess of $800 eight, additional. Eight, eight, eight girls eight, who have gotten an additional of $800, um, which is around. No, um, it's, it's more than eight hundred dollars, but go ahead. A yeah. thousand, say a thousand dollars. That's average it at a thousand dollars, which is eight thousand dollars. So eight thousand dollars. Well, let me say it this way: it is possible, based on the JFF side of the calculation, and and I think the girls admitted it that some yes, of them they did. On, 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 they did on the interview. Yes, they did on the interview, which is said yeah. eight thousand dollars was paid over, and this is I think this is the hardest part to accept. Because if eight thousand was over, and now after six months you're finding out that two thousand five hundred was is all that is outstanding, then it is saying that was it worth six months of delay? Yeah, yeah, well, well, which is what I think Cranky is saying. Could there have could there have been okay? We 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 want we are confident, which which is what you have been saying that everything financially has been done. We need yeah. to sit here because this is coming up. This is the end we want to reach it. So let's sit here and listen. Even if it means, who are the girls who have spoken? Is it five? Is it 10? Is it three? I think that's what he's saying that could, couldn't the JFF be yeah, the other yeah, yeah, We're not think, leaving. Think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I think, I think Speed has said, you know, that we are in a meeting and he did ask, he said, listen, all of these things from our perspective are settled. Are you available? And they said, no. We have to work out the computations first. Right? And I can understand that. They are, they, they, they are on the receiving end and they want to make sure everything is fine. Right? But that question was asked. And as I said to you also, um, you know, there are various issues. I mean, like last, last camp, we, we reached out to eight um girls who were there work up and they said they had school commitments yeah, but right? you know what is funny though you know that you know that there are girls i think somebody said it earlier because there are girls in the camp you know in this last camp even the friendly to chile mm -hmm. who are in colleges playing in the same divisions as the girls who are in the world cup so i Listen, find it i'm, I'm not i no, i am not no going man. to import no, any, no, 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 any, no, any, no. any motives i am no, saying no. that that was the the, no the, man, no man, I know, but I'm just saying, just for clarity, I just yeah, want to put it yeah. out there that there were girls. But, 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 but people have different school commitments. Well, 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 you know, well, that is. Have to understand yeah. that. Yeah. But know. but I think this is the hardest thing, and I'm not saying that the, the, the blunt of the blame is not on one side. Like Cranky is saying, is that what was the outcome that we wanted six months ago? Was it was it to play football? And if it were to play football, why didn't we? Because if 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 if, it, if it, it, the conclusion was two hundred thousand was out, I could understand six months. But for two thousand, even you, Mr. Chung, and I know you probably can't say it publicly, but even for you, this this, this is ridiculous, you know, <laughs> that that having having already come com, um, paid out close to two yeah. million dollars to hold up for six months for two thousand it's just like you have a staff you know i and, and he works for you and he's supposed to get 2.2 million dollars yeah, yeah but i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put yeah. myself in in their position and you know there are a lot of issues that were coming forward and the truth is that they might just want to 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 reconcile everything before and i won't take that from them at that you know what we did as we said okay fine you know, we respect that position. Um, we'll ensure that no one gets injured from the FIFA regulation. So we'll put a suspension on it, the selection for the from the coach point of view until the thing was resolved. Right. When we saw it was resolved from our perspective, we say, hey, let's lift it. We have always maintained um, that, you know, we would have paid out everything that we had to pay out. And we have always maintained that we were not the only ones that worked on the competition. It was the Australian tax office and FIFA, um, you know, um, and we, we, we have to respect the rights of the players to, to want to reconcile everything. So, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that we're here now. Um, you know, it's, we, we didn't get to the Gold Cup, 
right? Um, and and it was unfortunate because we were close, right? Because the girls who played for us, I think they did a, a, a great job, you know, um, in terms of representing the country. But, it, you know, that's where we are. And, and really and truly, you know, all we wanted to do is just give an update that this is the situation. We're happy that we're at this point now. You know, whatever the amount is that we reconcile at the end of today, because um, we got it yesterday, then we'll, we'll pay it out and settle all of that. You know, because we are intent on ensuring that everyone is played. Not just, you know, you know, management, not just on the, the women's side, because we've been making attempts on the, the men's side also, right? Yeah. But we are intent, and, and we do have the proper records in place. One of the things that we have to ensure is that everything is accounted for. Because, you know, people don't understand when people talk about JFF money and what happens with it. I can tell you, I've been through many organizations, right? I have never been in an organization that has as much audits and reporting as JFF has on it. None. Not even, gov not even government organizations. Is that is that good or bad? It's good. It's good. Because it means that, negative, you know. It no, be it's good because it means that JFF has to be always on its toes. Which in terms is, of our reporting and, 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 and controls. Uh, Dennis, I wouldn't brag about that, Dennis. Seriously. Here's why. Because if when we talk about audits, the question is, what's the nature of the audit? Is it just a financial statement audit? Is it an effectiveness audit? Is it how you operate? Is it how you... Well, I before you say that, before, before, you say, before you say that, though, let me yeah. say that. This is how... This is what happens with all member associations. So it's not JFF alone. But it, it, that's how FIFA operates. We do a central review audit every year. There is, there is reporting that happens consistently <laughs> on the funds that they send to us. And then we have a, an ex, or, or now an external audit. Yeah, yeah look, I, I would say this, which is... So, so, so don't, FIFA don't, is don't, not don't, a benchmark. Don't. FIFA is not a benchmark for anything. I've read the Constitution. Constitution needs a lot of work. So FIFA cannot, and FIFA sign off on the Constitution. If I use it as an example, I walk away shaking my head. I do. No, I did not say. I did not say they are the benchmark. I'm. I'm saying that I have never been in an organization that has is has as much audits and con, and reporting controls as the JFF has. That's what I said. I didn't say anything important, about bench. Important thing, Mr. Chun, because, like I said, again, coming back to it. A part of the justification, like, if in this, right, the, the, the JFF has been speaking a, a whole lot more on, on the issue, is there any place where the representatives of the girls will come out, like, because one of my things yeah. is... Yeah, yeah, but, but listen, but listen, public, you know, yeah, 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 but man is man, man is man, listen. Yeah. For me, the important thing is that we get to a point of resolution because for me it's about going forward right you know um i don't want to get into this thing about whether who won't speak or whatever but <clears throat> what all i'm saying is that this is where we are right and i understand um the the both parties and and how it has been approached right dennis, dennis um, i have a question dennis i have a question yeah. is a post-mortem being done because you keep saying and i hear people in the chat saying this which is annoying me that we keep going back and back. You know what, people? If you don't learn from your history, you'll never do well going forward. We've had these problems with the men's team. That's why management is the interim manager. We've had these problems before. Where's the port mortem analysis being done to say, you know what? Let's make sure we mitigate this and prevent it going forward. Okay, if you keep saying we're just going to look forward, Dennis, you'll never fix the problem. What's but the root cause that, of the problem? But, but, but is, is, isn't that effectively what I'm saying, what you just said? When you look no, forward, you said you're gonna move, you want to move forward, but you're not moving. You gotta look yes, back. Yeah, to yeah, see yeah, what was wrong. yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 the but the reason why you look at the post mortems is to look forward, to learn and move no, forward. No, the right? post mortem exactly. is looking back to see how I can fix things going forward. Yeah, but what's the, exactly? So it's a forward looking thing. If 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 the post mortem had nothing to do with learning, would you do it? Yeah. No, but Dennis, the post mortem is gonna inform when you go forward. Exactly. So, 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 so the, uh, yes, but the objective is for to look forward. Yes, I agree with that. That's, now, here's the thing, Dennis. How much money did you lose in the World Cup? 
How much money what? did we lose from not being at the Gold Cup? How much money did we lose from not being at the Gold Cup? On a net basis? Yes. On a net it's basis. More, more than $2,000. <laughs> no, you you you're an accountant, Dennis. I know you know what the number projected. And I'm be. saying to you, on a net basis, on a net basis, and a lot of people don't understand, JFF does not make money out of these tournaments. What were the projected? Did, how much did you make for the men's team from the last Gold Cup? From the men's team, is, is this yes. from, the men's, from the men's team would have spent more money than what we got? Yes. So you had a net loss from the Gold Cup. Yes, we would have most would tournaments have, we do. Okay. Yeah, most and money's man know that most tournaments <laughs> we do. <laughs> so you're saying, so I'm kind of confused about these things then because I thought things like Gold Cup produce. No, you don't. Product. You don't know. No, unless you like, if you win the Copa America. Right. If you win the Copa America or the World Cup. Are you, if you win the Gold Cup, if you win like the Gold Cup and stuff, you if win, you win, if you win, if you win the Gold Cup, you'll get some good money coming. Yeah, in. yeah. yeah. But if it, yeah. For, for the so teams who play, you don't get a good money. If you got semi final, you don't get a good money. No, you don't get, you don't get much. You don't get, no, not, it, it doesn't, it doesn't compensate second, for first, first and second normally. Yeah, help you first to and second, yeah, you, you, you might get a, a, a good change. Yeah. But but listen, 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 listen to this, right? Um, is it a pandemic or how we govern? Because on, on Saturday, February 11th, the Canadian Women's National Team sat out training after the and members of the men's national team expressed fresh concerns with the country's federation, Canada Soccer. This action comes amidst ongoing collective bargaining negotiation between the two teams and Canada Soccer, which the players say have reached a point of crisis. Then um, this is a question coming. It says, it was a eureka moment for the United States Women's National Team in November the team earned more than 6.5 million from its male equivalent, reaching the knockout stage of the Qatar 22 than it did for winning its own World Cup tournament in 20, 2015 and 2019, right? So the question is, like Cranky said, is, there, is this a pandemic or we need to look at how we govern, seeing that there is this ongoing wage issue that can, if not dealt with early enough, it gets to a crisis moment and we miss out on yeah. like major tournament how do we how do we set up our go govern um our governing structures to mitigate as much as possible again yeah, no, no, so, yeah, yeah 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 so so governance is is always important um and you know with, with the best stuff will you're gonna have these issues i mean Look, look at sports, for example. They've, they've had many situations with sports, but not just sports. Look at private sector. Look at government. I mean, you, you hear the, the Civil Service Association in Jamaica now saying that, you know, when they thought everything was settled with the wage thing, they, they're demanding something else, right? So these things happen, and we have to, we have to always ensure that, you know, we are, we are, we are doing the best in terms of governance. Right, and it's a fluid situation; it's not static. Right, you're going to always constantly have challenges because you deal with people. Right, um, you know it doesn't help that that you know um, we're trying to do something, and then people out there, oh, you know this, rare, 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 because they don't understand it. Right, but we have to try and we have to try and deal with it. And 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 football federations, apart from a few, you will know Manning's man. Um, there, there, there are significant financial challenges because of the same reason we say that most people, ninety percent, do not make any money out of the tournaments. You know, when when you have to, when we have to 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 send a team somewhere, for example, you know how much money we're talking about, man. man. Yeah, thirty yeah, million yeah. dollars a pop. Right. So, so Dennis, I, I'll and, say this, Dennis. I'll say this, Dennis, which is. When we say making money, if you are great at marketing and, and getting sponsorship and the visibility the tournament provides, you can make money from your sponsorship as it relates to the tournament and even identify specifically how much money you make from that, right? Because yeah. we're talking about trying to brand an organization, brand a business that's going to leverage your product to brand themselves. So you don't have to make money just from the prize money for the tournament. You can make money in other ways. Yeah. And, Jersey, that, is how, and that is how, that is how, we get our money. And that is why last year we were able to make a surplus. So, 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 so we, say we, we made a surplus. 
Frank, you make a good point then, which is to say that there is no profit. It is directly from the tournament outcome, but stemming from the tournament. Exactly. Other... So, right. Yes, so, it would so have been Randy, good to be in the Gold Cup then. No, one of the things that it, kills... It would have been good to be in the Gold Cup then. It would have been good from the point of view of the branding opportunity. However, one of the challenge, one of the biggest challenges I've had um, here is when you try and create a brand but a brand is about the image of the product and there are a lot of negative things being said out there and that in itself creates a problem so i am looking for example at a major major sponsor that i was talking to late last year coming on right and when they saw what was happening in the news they, they called me and said listen let's let's wait a few months Right, and this would have been a major thing. And but you validate my point, me. Dennis. Are you validating my point? Which, if you resolve this a long time ago, you wouldn't have that negativity being prolonged. Yes, I no, but but this is not the only thing. Well, this is not yeah. the only thing. If which, this which was the only thing, that would be a problem. Which which is why, no, Mr. Chung. I think one of the ways to kind of settle this is for you to sit down with the, 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 the girls, the girl, the girls, and make a public statement. Um, uh, well, where, man, man, let me just say that. Let, because, let me just say that because, all of those because, things are being discussed. Yeah, because we need to know that there is, like yeah. Duklan is saying, that there is amnesty, there is peace, and we're resetting, that all things have been resolved. And listen, that the JFF can say, you know what, we, you, we you know, you know, you, you know, you know, you know what the greatest thing is, yes, right? The greatest thing is when we said to our coach, listen, go and call the girls. And when we sent to them and said, listen, we want you to be available and we're going to call you. That's the greatest thing. But what you talk about the meeting, we've already had that discussion about moving forward with that. Okay. Right? And, and okay. I'm already in, in, I mean, I would have responded, of course. To the representative and we're going to send the information i want to resolve this thing of course we want to resolve it we, we but, don't, but we don't dennis, we... dennis you were stubborn dennis when we talked about this you just said we asked them to call the girls the human contact and the, the people keep saying can't you keep going back it's important to go back we talked about sending informal emails versus calling the girls meeting the girls you and i had this conversation over and over again you know that you are stubborn you know that you're stubborn? Yes, I'm Jamaican. Of course I'm right? stubborn. And let me tell you why you're stubborn. Because I have told you, and I, I, I realize, you know, I went to Jamaica College, you know, or you don't understand me a long time, right? <laughs> I have told you over and over again, right, that we did have representatives. And, and as far as I'm concerned, those are discussions that are happening with people. The meetings okay. that we have was, was not was not by email. So basically, cranky. What Mister Trung is saying, he has implemented the things. <laughs> we, we people, but we get no credit for it. Okay, good, good. Okay, fine. We move on. As you said, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Yeah, let's... yeah. Too much postmortem. <laughs> yeah, but but I think that has to be the the next step, right? Uh, that has to be the next step because. The next step has to be both sides speak. Because the truth is what we don't want to happen. It's three months down the road. We hear something from one side again. Either the GFF or the girls that contradict. Oh, yeah. No, 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 yeah. certainly. And, and, and I mean, you know, I would never say that things can't arise. But we're going to try and do everything to manage our situation. And we have spoken on other issues also, management, that we're trying to achieve. So, you know, we, we can we can do that. Um, yeah, a question for you, Dennis. A question for you, Dennis. Yeah. A question for you, which is this, which is, what is working for the men's team? Because I don't have inside information, but it seems like they're in harmony. Maybe they're not, but we don't hear in the public domain. Uh, Dennis is, is talking to somebody in the background. Yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm, talking, the I'm, talk, I'm talking to the men, man. <laughs> oh, the president. <laughs> yeah, 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 he, has to come, he has to come on your right shoulder because you, you block out all your certification. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> 
Yeah. So, okay. What's working for the men's team? I'm not sure if, it's, if I'm a rightist or a leftist. Come, sit, come sit down, Preddy. Come sit down, Preddy. Come, come, come. No, Mr. Chug, where, you, you, Mr. Chug, oh, you've got... You want to come to the hot seat. You want to come to the hot seat. <laughs> People. Yeah, you come how, are you have, how are you doing? How are you doing? I am doing yeah, very well. Mr. Richards. Welcome to the show, you man. Doing, Thank uh, you. Thanks for having me, sir. You're, so, you're, you're, you're welcome. Um, um, um... I, I have given you a difficult time in these forums now because I said <laughs> I like you as a person, but you are invisible a lot of times. And you have oh, a very good decorum in terms of how you, you know, engage and you operate. Know, go ahead, you, go ahead. You know, I operate uh, based on what I learned from the great Percival James Patterson that silence <laughs> cannot be quoted. <laughs> so if you don't have to speak, then you don't speak. And I have persons who are who are very, very, very competent and who always seem to represent me well. So I just stay in the background most times and, and watch and observe that things are being done in a very professional and transparent way. I have said this, that if you got mm -hmm. involved earlier, we'd have gotten to a better place. Because I believe some of your subordinates, egos, doesn't allow them to make compromise. Correct. And I will not take that back. So why wouldn't you figure out, you know what? This is optimum time for me to be the person in these negotiations because we're not achieving the, intent the intended objective. Um, I don't know if that is a fair and correct comment because okay. as it is now, I think we are at a point with the girls that um, there is some light at the end of the tunnel and it's just for us you now in fact it's just for them to make themselves available uh, we will certainly be having some discussions with our technical staff and the 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 we have given them the opportunity for the last maybe month or so to make themselves available so it's up to them now i mean we want to ensure that we do have a relationship with our players because you're never ever going to win administrators will administrators We'll never win a battle with players. So we try not to engage them in a fight. We try to be warm. We try to be respectful. We try to embrace them at all times. But when they um, resist um, the embrace and resist um, having a proper relationship, there's hardly anything that we can do except to continue to say to the girls that when you're ready, we are in fact ready. But, but El Presidente, I'm going to call you El Presidente. I like, I like the Spanish name. Mm -hmm. Here's a question for you, though. It takes yeah. two to tango. So I'm exactly. sure the girls are not just cantankerous and not want to engage, right? There must be something that's bothering them that why they don't feel like they can engage you in the manner in which they would like to do so. As I've talked to Dennis about, which is this. Here's one question, actually. The men's team, which were in the same situation three years ago, even subsequent to that, seemed to be in a better place. Have those two parties engaged? Have the men's team talked to the women's team? You're going to treat both teams the same in terms of how you operate. And the same challenge you face with one team, marry itself to the other team. So have we sort of worked through that and say, you know what? Maybe all three sides should come together to make sure for the purpose, for the national interest, to make sure we operate seamlessly going forward. You know, um, the modus operandi of the ladies, and I've said that, I'm probably going to say it with umpteen time, that Prior to what would have transpired since the World Cup, I remember when the girls had an issue with a particular coach. They spoke to me on it. Um, in fact, we had a meeting which which uh, we engaged some very, very key stakeholders. And my response to the girls in that particular meeting was, give me something documented give me something in writing i cannot go to my board i cannot go to my technical committee to say that the girls have said and of course the penda document which was substantiated by probably 95 percent of those who play then i had something to work with so I immediately got in contact with my board, got in contact with my technical staff. And we had a very, very transparent and proficient professional 
transition. And I lauded the girls for that because I thought that this is the way that we ought to go. If you have issues, then let us sit and discuss these issues. The first meeting we had was via Zoom, of course, but we had, like I've said, very key stakeholders. And we came up with a compromise. So we were able to have resolved that issue without having any distractions, any major fallout. And like I said, the rest is history. We were successful in having another coach in place. And we not just qualified for the World Cup, but we exceeded expectations. And I lauded the girls for that. And I thought, here is a set of young ladies who understand what proper relationship with, with your with your probably employees and employers ought to be. So I was, and I'm still very disappointed at what would have transpired with um, these recent issues. But uh, we believe that the time has come for us now to get more involved and have these issues settled so that we can move on with the nation's business. You know, El President, you know what's interesting about that whole thing you just said? Mm -hmm. You got involved at an optimum time, which prevents you from derailing the program and bring the coaching that they wanted, even though sometimes I don't believe we should like acquiesce to the inmates. People hate me to say the inmates, but inmates should run the asylum. But you got involved and brought it to a closure and got Cranky. the right outcome. Cranky, I think the people are challenged with you using inmate running the asylum because... They always say you're calling the girls in me, so I don't know if you want oh, to. Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a term. And if people don't like the term, go look it up on Google. Go, go yeah, it's that. a term that yeah. doesn't mean to be offensive. Yeah, it means that it means that you can't allow the subordinates to run the household or subordinates to run the program or subordinates to run the business. The leader needs to do that. So, El Presidente, when you got involved, you brought it to a closure. And that was my point around, if you got involved early in this, I am freely comfortable Give your demeanor, give your emotional intelligence, you would have brought this to a good resolution and would not miss the Gold Cup. Which I think I set the girls back at least two is, years. It is unfortunate because um, I know that we would have done well. But, you know, we just have to have to move on. Um, it is yes, very, I agree. So, uh, so what's next, El President? What's, what's next? Where are we going now? Where, what's next? What's next is that we, we want to engage um, our players. Um, it's obviously, it's up to the the coaches to decide who he will select. But we just want these young ladies now to say that, yes, we are ready. Um, we want to put these issues behind us. And we have no, uh, we are not ready to be selected. And then it right. will be the coach's prerogative now to call on the players to, of course, blend with those who would have done so very well. I mean, this this team that is re representing us now, I think they have done well with all their limitations. So it's for the coach you now to integrate those that would make themselves available from, from either side. All right. Just, let me just, bring, cl well, let me, let me just bring clarity quick, Cranky. Um, when yeah. the president spoke about intervening in the court situation it was um the previous coach not Lauren Donalds. No, I know I know I know I know yeah I think I some persons were, I get that. Yeah some persons were misunderstanding so I just wanted to make that clear but go ahead with the question. Right. Yeah. yeah so so yeah it was, was, that, it was, was that, that Lauren came in. Right. Yeah here's what I would say actually I always believe that when senior executives have a relationship with their subordinates it creates miracles in the organization it builds trust it builds loyalty, it builds affiliation, it builds association. Mm -hmm. You can engage the person. And I tell you, that that is now one of the strong points at the JFF right now. I can assure you. Okay. Well, my hope is that we have more of that because sometimes when you do that, it's easier to have those difficult conversations than if I have no association affiliation with you. Right? Yeah. I don't know you from Adam. It's harder to engage. Fair enough. enough. I think I think I think I think um Cranky was also um asking about the, 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 the male program. I think he had a question on that as well. 
and um we know the election um is is coming up this uh, on the 17th of march and then the men play in the nations league i think he was going to ask mr Chung, right first. frankie the, yeah, the yeah yeah yes yeah, i the mean first game we, play the, we play the us on the 21st and whatever happens we play again on the 24th so if we beat the us we will be in the finals if we lose to the US, we will play for third and fourth. So, so we have thrown out all the softball question, Mr. President. So I'm going to get a little bit harder question, which is the Constitution for the JFF. I have mm -hmm. read through the Constitution. I have a problem with it. The Constitution needs some what? enhancement. The Constitution needs to be followed. If that's the Constitution, you need to follow your Constitution. There are a number of items in there which are, which are head scratches. There are a number of items we need to be revisited. There's a number of items that need to be adhered to. My perfect example is the Constitution clearly stipulates that you don't allow discrimination and you do allow discrimination as related to selection of teams. I'm not going to every example of it, but I'm saying to the Jeff, to you and no, Dennis no, who are on no, the program no, now. No, you no, can't, you can't. I can no, that, that is, that is, that is, that is. Let me give you an example then. What, you what say the Constitution. Is, go ahead. What, what is the discrimination that has been allowed? You're basically saying you have a quota system as well to your junior football teams. The constitution, the, what is the quota system? Constitution does have a constant quota in, in the system. It does have a quota in the constitution. No quota. So therefore, so, if it, if it so, says all citizens are treated equally, there has to be the case where there's no quota. I don't understand what so, you're saying. What is what what it says the discrimination? So, so in the in the in in the in the constitution, it, you it's mean putting about... in putting in a quota system? No, no, no. Is, what is, what is, no, no, man, no, man. What you saying is that there is a quota system. For example, I think mm -hmm. Mr. Speed has said that um, only seven persons not born in Jamaica can play on the under twenty. Anything over that, it it, it uh, 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 the, the term is like reasonable explanation by the coach uh, that the exact words that he used but it is seven and then after that yeah, there yeah, that's, not, well, that's not in the constitution right which is that's what cranky is saying what which is what cranky is saying what cranky is saying, is what you're is saying. Not, right he's saying it is not in the constitution right because in the constitution it speaks about equality of treatment so why then if you have citizens who are not living in jamaica who are good enough to be playing then you're saying only seven of them can play. Isn't that, yeah, isn't yeah, that no, going no, against no, the Constitution? I'm go, I'm that's what, I think that's what he's asking. Yeah, yeah, but here, here it is. Here it is. Here, that is a decision that was taken at a technical level. And the reason why it was taken at, that technical that level, board level. at the board level is because we want to ensure development of local football. Correct. Nothing can be wrong with that. And, the reason and, and not justify, everything will be covered under the no, Constitution. No, 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 Dennis, Dennis and, and El Presidente, you guys are confused on this. You can have all the reasons you want to have as to why you're doing it. Your Constitution is contrary to what the board no, decision was. Frank, it, no, it, no, you're no, not no, going to no, have no, everything no, covered under no, the Constitution. No, 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 no. Your Constitution is unequivocal. It says all are treated equally. If you have quotas, there's unequal treatment. That's why the U.S. Yeah, Constitution, the U.S. Supreme Court yeah, knocked yeah. down ha going to Harvard based on race. Even though they have a so history of discrimination. No, 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 no. no. I do I which, which, which article of the constitution are you speak referring to? Because I wanna I'm gonna tell you about I, 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 I can I can I, you know what I don't have it in front of me, but I can point yeah, it out I, to you. I, it, is the, it is at the start of the constitution. I can tell you. Right? What what right. The, the two the what two constitution, it? let me ask the two constitution expert can have the constitution of the yeah. I, need to, I need to ask because um okay, go I, just ahead, this, I just got this from a text, all right? They're asking, is there a marketing department? I think Mr. Chung was talking about um participating in the competition, how it allows um for um selling of merchandise and you know just marketing the GFF. Is there a marketing department? like that is going to enable the jff to increase its profitability through its marketing arm all right and then the other the person is asking will the girls play um 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 and be coached by gilbert who they believe betrayed them in this whole process will the girls who played in the world cup be comfortable 
playing under a coach that they felt like, okay, you should you should not have taken up the job. You we, have we, couldn't an, we couldn't answer. Yeah, we yeah. couldn't answer that question. Okay. okay. And with all due respect, I mean, it's the what responsibility of the JFF yeah. to select coaches. And that was one thing that led to, for want of a better word, a fallout. Because the JFF's responsibility so, and it, but, its but, technical committee to select coaches. But, but what was the betrayal, though? I, I, no, it's just a text, I know. I remember now somebody just sending the text. I feel like yeah. the person is saying they should have, he should have stood up with them, basically. Um, so whatever decision they, whatever decision they made, he should have stood with them. I, I, I don't know. But, but is it? Well, yeah, Gilbert is Gilbert is a Jamaican, and, and he's a professional. Gilbert is a professional. Yeah. Gilbert is a coach. Yeah, qualified coach. And, and if he's not. asked coach to see the senior women's team, the onus is on him yeah. to make himself available. And, and he's an employee of, of JFF. Yeah. What about the marketing department? Um, There's listen. a marketing committee in place, and there are other steps that are being taken to strengthen. The marketing unit right? I, I, I tell you why because because i was i don't know i like for trinidad we played too friendly the second game i mean they had a, they had a full stun on one side everybody in in red it's amazing like the spirit of the people there for what would call like a really a pointless quote-unquote friendly that they turned up they had their drums beating in there for a friendly game everybody had red and white um they're trini colors and they had to pay to go in and watch the game right we have official games and our fans official game against top nations and our fans are not turning up you understand and, we have and, and, i guess and, it's and, the passion yeah and and, and the acts and the acts the free tickets <laughs> It's it's, it's 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 a passion the loyalty the commitment i mean these are things that we probably will need to work on we probably will just have to find some kind of a strategy to to get people yeah and, Mr. Trump, yeah. and even when we even when we make free tickets available the turnout is still very yeah, disappointing yeah. even when we, even when we give out tickets yeah so what, we'll have to look at is, is there a disconnect with the is there a disconnect with the with the 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 players because most of our first team players they don't play in jamaica so is it that they need to i don't know find a way of engaging the nation when they are here that will help to bring the nation out like how many of these players have ever been like to westmoreland you, you understand me like Right. Gone down there yeah. for example, for example, give out tickets out of the bus. Just, just do a nation tour. Just one day, they just let half yeah, of us drive north. The uh, there you go, and, and give free. out some stuff, yeah, or yeah, give out yeah. some flag or something. But what yeah. is being That's done? That's probably workable. Yeah, but because because Mary I don't Green, think the people, the people, the, the people did, did set an example. I mean, he spent a whole day in the community where he actually was born. Yeah or his, his, his parents were born. And um, he went around, he went to the school that is close to um, where his parents are from. And it made an impact because the first thing, people meeting you physically, shaking your hand, um, embracing you, makes a difference. Immediately, they're going to fall in love yeah, with yeah. you. Yeah. And they're going to want to support you. They're going to want to come and see you play. So it's probably something Manning that that and cranky that we probably need to work on, but we need to find ways to have these fans show some level of of commitment and some level of of loyalty and wanting to come out to watch the senior men's team. Okay, all right, cranky. No, I agree with the president. And I, it's very disappointing to see the team doing well but not have the fan support. So the fans have to take some responsibility and accountability for not supporting the team when they're performing on the field. But as we are alluding to, the JFF need to consider ways and means to get the fans in the stadium. 
and also have to think yeah. about being innovative and creative to do so. Don't just employ right. or deploy the same historical way of doing it because obviously it's not working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, but 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 Cranky was also asking why aren't we seeing right, Cranky? I think these issues with the male team um, of recent. Yes, I think you're asking something to that. Yeah, the, the question was the male team, as you know, two three years ago had not even two years ago, a year and a half ago had major issues. Not since the new coach came on board, but major issues with the administration. We seem to be in a much better place, and the outcome, part of it, I think, is manifest itself on the field. So if we're seeing things that we have done to change the dynamics in that environment, how do we employ some of that for the, the female team? Or is it that things are still happening, but we're not seeing it? Mr. President? I tell you, I, I tell you yeah, it's, it's different. I mean, we, we, from the men's side, we know how a coach that is really good at managing its players and that in itself would make a lot of difference and certainly when players are comfortable then it's going to transfer to on the field and it is very very obvious that these players now are happy comfortable and are therefore doing well on the field uh we're going to have a very very busy june july uh, the World Cup qualifiers, we have some games in early June. The Copa America starts, I think, on June 14. And of course, two weeks from now, we will be into, for the first time, we'll be into the semifinals and hopefully the finals of the Nations League, which certainly augurs well for the sport itself, for football, and for the impact that it will have on our young boys and girls. From the female side, qualifying for consecutive global tournaments, the World Cup to be exact, was no ordinary feat. And people seem to scoff at it. But Jamaica, with its very limited resources, um, limited infrastructure, we would have done so very well. And as belated as it may be, I want to congratulate all the stakeholders, technical staff, the players, administrators, sponsors. It was really a team effort. The Marley Foundation, the Reggae Girls Foundation, we all came together and we, our actions were, were vindicated by what happened at the World Cup. Since then, um, we've had some issues and I have said, and I want to reiterate, that we seem to be, or we seem to be now having some light at the end of the tunnel. We are hopeful that we will be able to very soon get these girls to make themselves available because that is the issue right now. Make yourselves available and you will be selected. Once you are not available, then you won't be selected or you can't be selected. So that's where we are now. Make yourselves available then we will get back on track and then we'll get our best team to present us. And of course, uh, whatever tournaments are ahead, we will be able to participate with a, a strong female unit. You know, Mr. President, you're, you have soft skills which are not easily attained. My suggestion would, would be you have some of your subordinates Mr. Chung, stuff. is you the man talking, you know, so the president... No, it's not him alone. He's not the only one <laughs> representing <laughs> Mr. No, 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 Speed, you know. Let, let, Mr. Speed, but you are words, not Mr. Chung. That's why his name is Cranky. <laughs> let, me make this, let me make this very clear. Absolutely clear. That I have all the trust and confidence in my general secretary. I have all the trust and confidence in Udall Speed, who would be um, very integral in in the selection of the coach not the selection of the team but certainly having control over the technical component of our, our women's program and of course there are some members on our board that would have given human service 
to the whole growth and development of our women's program. I mean, when you think of, of someone like Elaine Walker Brown, when yeah. you think of the late Jean Nelson, I mean, these persons have given almost all of their life to the growth and development Women. of young females. A number of them have made significant strides because of the mentorship of some of these ladies. So we want to keep on that trajectory and I think I think what Cranky said is that it's a president. Yes, Let me just say this, Cranky. I think what Cranky is saying is that you see, he believes, and a lot of people across Jamaica believe that if you sat in the meeting and you did the talking, it would work better to be Mr. Chubb or Mr. You know, I mean, let me just be clear. I, I it's probably I just one's personality. That's what Cranky is saying. Cranky is saying that when Speed sit in that room, they, they call Speed, you know. I mean, who is my friend? One Speed badness, they say. When he talks, it's, 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 you understand me? That is what they want. <laughs> that, that's not true. That's not true. Come on. Man. No, no. Uh, no, I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you how the people guys, feel. Guys, I'm look, look. I'm telling I, you I, the I, people, I've been fortunate enough. I've been fortunate enough to operate in a certain environment where awareness is the most important attribute you can have. And when you lack awareness, you'd be surprised how you get negative outcome. When you don't know how to pivot. No, but I tell you, that, will, that would be where I would have a problem because these persons are, are equipped. No, I'm not saying that equipped. And you, and, and you are Mr. President. And so you're not like Ten Hag. Meeting. You're not going to throw your people under the bus. That's not who you are. You, I keep coming back to you about this. It's a public domain. So we can talk offline. But I'm telling you, you as the president have to then determine what point do I step in? Because I, I find it difficult to understand if the outcome is not being achieved over a six-month period on ancillary or not material factors that get us to here, then post-mortem you can say something wasn't done right. And the president is as culpable as the subordinates in us not achieving that objective. We can blame the girls all we want, but it takes two to tangle. But, 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 but Frankie, 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 to be honest, to be honest with you, you know, when we were saying what the situation was, there, people like you were saying, boy, we don't believe you. I never That's said I don't believe any. No, 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 no. Dennis, be careful with that, Dennis, because we're recording. No, that, no, no, no. You would no, never hear me so say crazy. I don't believe no, you. No, no, Mr. No, Chong, let me tell never. you this. The truth is, you know, Cranky never. was a person who a lot of people, he has lost a lot of his following, you know. Because he, he was one of the persons who was coming out and saying that the girls are wrong. What he's saying, though, is that the girls are wrong, but the JFF are the adults in the room. Yes. So they should ensure that we get to the outcome as quick as possible. So let me say this. Let me just help you with the speed thing. Listen, I speed approach, I like. He's, he, he wears his emotion on his sleeve. He's going to tell you as it is because he wants to get it done. I think, right, however, yeah. I think, yeah, and, and that is he it. So he's a guy, man. Yeah, no, no, man, we know that, man. But the issue now is that we think, like, especially, um, I don't like to say this, but we believe, like, softer skills may be needed when dealing with females. And it, it, it proves, you know, Mr. President, because there are two times you have intervened, and you said it. I think one when you flew to England um, with, with the Gen Sec and met with them, and the other thing yeah. on the court issue, right? Remember, one of the things that Lauren Donaldson said is that when everybody was opposed to the decision, it was you who spoke to get it. So every time that you have intervened from record of yeah. what we have heard, it gets resolved. So Cranky is saying, you having those soft skills, you probably should have intervened. Yeah, I think one of your parents is not a Jamaican. Miss, 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 you know, in, 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 hindsight, in hindsight, maybe. In hindsight, maybe. But, you know, when you 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 probably want to to stay out of some some issues and then to make yourself available as the last point of an appeal. No, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. It's President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, we get beaten on ESPN and BBC. There is some point where the president has to step up. When you get beat in the public domain all over the world, when you achieve greatness and it's negative. That's where the president has to say, you know what? I have to step up here. Forget about subordinates. I am the ultimate accountable person. 
I need to step up, Mr. President. Come on, Mr. President, man. You know that. And your demeanor would allow the things to diffuse. Some people well, throw fire, gasoline on the fire, Mr. President. <laughs> you are going to diffuse well, right. it. Um, yeah, I, I, I understand. And probably in hindsight, um, you are okay. correct. Okay. I mean, right now, we're just, just hopeful that elections um, will be will be in my favor when it takes place <laughs> on, 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 March, on March 17. I mean, it's been, been a rough ride. It's been a, a, a situation where, where the other side have virtually orchestrated a smear campaign against, against um, my, my slate members and probably some of my staff members, which, to be honest, has been fairly successful, aided and abetted by, by some persons who are connected with media, just a handful, to be honest. But we want to ensure that uh, after the 17th, that we put all the negatives behind us. I mean, we want to ensure that, and I've always said, that we want to engage private sector, we want to engage the government, and to just ask of them to support the sport. Because I am very, very aware, and maybe a number of persons aren't, that football can impact the social well-being of every single boy and girl in this country. We need the support of private sector. We need the support of the government. We must use football as a catalyst for the growth and development and the social well-being of our players. I mean, I want to, to ensure that I defend the integrity of those who support the sport and the sanity of those who play. And we just have to stand up and defend what is right. And I'm saying that we have massive support from, from our sponsors, led it, headed, of course, by, by Adidas. And there are a number of local sponsors who are now on board who will be giving us a lot of support as we, again, make the effort to impact the well-being. And of course, as part of building this nation, football must play a role. So I'm looking forward to March 17th. I just hope that things will work out for my slate and myself, and then we'll just restart the football program. Yeah. So, so, so in my last point, my name's man. Yeah. I'll be finished. So, so Mr. President, hear what you just said? You're hoping. Now, some other people in your team would probably say, as subs, you're just destroying people there. No. And we'll win easily. You are very moderate in how you operate, which is that's a radical how, I, That's how I Not I overconfident, grow. not egotistical, which is what leadership needs to exert a lot of times to get people on your side. Come on. I want to be modest, moderate, humble, respectful. Yes. Those are some of my yes. favorite words. Yes. I don't know, Mr. Chaga Cranky, go and get a lot of this because of Trump. I never call anybody's name in the Manning's man. Sorry, Mr. President. I don't call anybody's name. I'm talking about the president and how he operates <laughs> as an example for others to follow. Doesn't mean everybody has to be monolithic about how they operate, you know. Be monolithic, but take the best of someone and incorporate it in your repertoire. Yeah. Well, let me read this from yeah. Kyle. I think Kyle was responding to the, 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 the Xavier Gilbert situation earlier. He says, um, and Kyle is the one who does the drum thing in the stadium. He says coaches should be selected that represent the federation, fans, and players. Failure to do so will result in division and chaos. It cannot be done but, um, for individual, arbitrary, egotistical um, basis. Then he goes on and he asks a question um, on this one. He says, does the JFF have an event organize, organizer to promote games for a fund-filled family event? for sponsors and fans to partake in for giveaways and activities which would form part of the whole marketing. So is that in place? Is that coming in place? Especially, like I said, it's a very active year. We have World Cup 
um, campaign games, major, major thing. Then we also have the Nations League, the 24-25 Nations League, starting um, and finishing in the finishing first or second means we automatically get a berth into the semi-final stages or the quarter-final stages. Um, is there a plan? So what, Kyle is saying? Uh, the, the, from the marketing department, marketing committee, a designated um, event, uh, uh, or you have one of these, I know they have a couple of them in Jamaica, they are like event organize, organizers, like main event is one I know that comes to mind, but there are many others. Is there anything like that um, in place? We, we, we are intent on, on making these games, not just a football game, but an event. But funding always going to be an issue and most of the issues that we would have had is because of funds or the lack of it and when you don't have money up front to engage um, a company to do this kind of promotional stuff it, it presents a challenge and like i say a number of issues that we would have had is because we weren't liquid we didn't have the funds to say call in a company and to say pay you to do this but um things are getting better we of course this year already we are from a fiscal perspective i think we are on track and we just absolutely sure that things will be better like i said from a fiscal standpoint and we will be able to institute some some plans that we would have shelved because we weren't able to do so i tell you some of these these plans could generate funds but you have to have this outlay so that you can put these plans in place but i understand fully what what the the gentleman Kyle, you said his name is? Kyle, yes. I said, and, it, and, and he's it, a part of it because he, he provides the drumming um, for the recent movement. Sense. Yes. Okay. So and yeah, and there are other persons, you know, there are other persons, like, I know, like, there are other persons who, uh, the truth is, the online platforms, let me say this, Mi Military Guna has, has done some work with the Federation. Shavan Peart helped Simon. Yeah. And he's from, he's I, from I, I, here. A lot of the YouTubers have come on board and, and supported the program. We appreciate Kyle that. We really do appreciate um, that. You have, you have um, uh, Drink Studio, who is Chemo, who has come on board. And, and there may be others that I don't, I don't know their names, mm -hmm. but um, they, they come on board. Uh, I mean, if, man, if yeah. this group could just form themselves in probably a formal group, and just sit with us and this ex we exchange thoughts yeah. then we could probably make an impact and, and management i want to say that i mean i really want to echo the presence and we appreciate those people there are a few people who they, they're they're always positive and and gives us the support um kyle definitely um you know with 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 with, with, with the support that he has given us in the stadium um military guna definitely right um simon you know who works with us um you know there there are, there are some people who have really you know because of the love of the, the jamaican football have really gone out there and, and really appreciate that effort from them you know yeah um, i remember like duclan duclan did volunteer to build the website now you have him living in the states building website for all kind of people and he was going to do yeah, it for free. We have, we have, we're actually talking to somebody who actually is going to do some more work on the website for us and some marketing a very a, a very well-known company um so that that's going to be announced soon yeah and people listen i, I just um Please, um, <laughs> and let me just mention some of your names because I don't know all your names, so don't feel like my name is my never mention you. But Shavon Peart helps with a lot of the graphics that have been coming out. He helps Simon yes. in designing the graphics that you yes, have. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Ke um, Kimo had his drone at the training sessions. Um, he works with the JFF. He took time off. He took the pictures. He used his drone, his drone to take pictures. He's there as well. So some of those persons have really come on. So the, the thought is there are people 
on these platforms. I know Neo has even given um, advice in terms of the constitution and even Cranky. And there are many others when we have traveled overseas in their Frank, cities. Frank, Frank, you gave us advice on the quota part. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> but you haven't taken, by the way. But anyway. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, you, well, know, you know, I Mr. Rick, one question I want to ask. And I want to ask. No, you before you go, don't go ahead, Mr. President. I have a question for you. Don't go ahead. This is a big question, right? We, I've just seen where I think Saudi Arabia, in an effort to bid for the World Cup, they have been given like investment loan for football in, in I think, Barbados at low, low interest rate, almost like. 0.1 percent that mean you're not paying anything and i think like we are more powerful in terms of the influence you have in the caribbean aren't any of those things available to jamaica our sponsorship um for anything our loans to build because i was in trinidad and they spoke highly of how the captain Horace Burrell Center of Excellence is in terms of facility, accommodation, the fooding, the surface, the lighting, everything they spoke highly of it. Is there anything like that available to to well, to, well, to no in, in, on the South Coast? Because the South Coast has no proper, the entire South Coast of Jamaica has no proper sporting facility at all. Right. Um, what you have said, um, I'm, I'm going to ask um, Dennis to to jump on that because I'm aware of what would have happened in Barbados. And of course, Jamaica is by far the leader when it comes down to football. There's no team in the Caribbean that can run over. In fact, they look to us for support and for guidance. So um, if it is available to Barbados, then certainly we must jump on board to see what will be available for us. And certainly, we would really, really, an injection of funds now would certainly bring some, some energy to our football program. And um, Dennis certainly will check on that and, and will have a response at soonest. But that is something that we would certainly embrace. And like you said, Manning's man, I mean, we do not have a proper facility in central and south jamaica in fact the only probably three would be kingston saint anne and the west so the country is starving for proper playing facilities and if you don't have good surfaces then you're not going to make good players so we definitely will be checking on that sir and we'll give you a response soon all right, go ahead. Cranky said he had one question. I noticed Mr. Trump so, so, so mentioned man in my name. You know, Mr. Trump. Six times name. now, Cranky said the last one. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed Mr. Trump never mentioned man in my name. You know. No, but I tell you, I tell you. He mentioned you, Simon and everybody else, when, you know. But it's all right, you, Mr. Trump. No, I feel it. <laughs> you see, and and I appreciate, I mean, Cranky's queries, comments, questions, because they certainly will help us. And I have no issue when someone is critical from a positive standpoint. But don't be critical because you want to put me down or to put down the JFF. But I appreciate what you have said. We, I mean, the probably all that I've listened, I have been positively impact, impacted by, by, by your questions and your comments. I'm telling you, your demeanor, I would like to buy some of it. But anyway, let me just say this. Let me just say this, let me just say this Mr. President, which is this. If you think about your stakeholder community, whether it's FIFA, the government, the fans, the sponsors, that where are we in terms of where's the JFF in terms of each of those stakeholders? And if you were to grade them one to ten, where would that be? And for the ones which are not a position of strength, what are you doing to enhance that relationship, those relationships? I tell you, we as it relates to our parent organizations. So we start with the CFU. CONCACAF and FIFA. We are rebuilding a relationship and we are doing very well. I would think as it is now, maybe seven out of ten, Jen said, probably seven out of ten as it relates to relationships with our parent organizations. Um, government, Minister Grange and I do have a 
very absolutely good. great relationship. Probably another seven out of ten. As it relates to the private sector, now that is presenting more of a challenge. Once we get over these elections, then we will be able to uh, be a little bit more forthright, a little bit more forceful as we try to engage our private sector organizations. I would think maybe four or five. We How do you define little... the private sector? Is it just domestic or is it international? Inclusive of certainly, the... Certainly, we would want it to be international. In fact, our diaspora, we are trying our best to have an organized diaspora group that would be that would we would require to be partners with us in fact we were even toying with the idea of having them in an organized group that would be a partner with the jff i mean these discussions are entering right now and we are hopeful when we got into office and that's why we ended up with an overseas um, sponsor in Adidas. We were intent on getting overseas sponsors because we thought that, I mean, if we get a million dollars from an overseas sponsor, I mean, that's 150 million Jamaican dollars. A dollar is a dollar. There's hardly any local investor who would put that kind of money in football. But at the same time, we cannot discount our local sponsors. So we were intent on getting overseas sponsors, and we tried and tried and tried. We, it took us three years to finalize the Adidas partnership. Right through uh, COVID, when Bruce, Speed, myself, and when Dennis actually came on, it took us three years. As it is now, we are still looking for overseas sponsors. We do have a number of local sponsors that have an affordability, of course, is an issue. We do have some local sponsors who are intent on helping us to grow the sport of football. And we want to embrace those local sponsors. We want to ensure that um, their investment is of worth. It is worthy of them putting their funds into local football. We want to ensure that they get their piece of the pie. But we have a lot of work to do as it relates to our local um, partners from a uh, standpoint of engaging them to sponsor and to help us with our local programs. Okay. That was my last question, by the way. <laughs> All right, sir. I, so, I, 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 I will certainly... <laughs> yes, sir. Fa no, no, the Bible always says finally bridging and there's an next chapter in us, but I was just... <laughs> yes, yes, that's not the last chapter. <laughs> my last question for now is what I say. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but, um, feel free. I have this policy that I want to have an open door where people can come in and sit with me and we can have discussions because i mean as ignorant as you may think some person maybe they could very well have something to suggest that could be a game changer so i embrace anybody as long as you're being respectful we can sit and have some discussions thank you mr president Thank you. Thank you, sir. I know that okay, you, have sir. On, you have to go on the campaign trail right now. I hope this one don't tie 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, we, we have all kind of different calculators. <laughs> well, I, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, gentlemen. All right, thanks. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Okay. Yeah, man. All right, Mr. Chung, listen, I know you weren't supposed to be on that log, so we go, we go ask a release you to that. I know, I know that. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Please, you have please, said, please. You have said all that you needed to say and clarify all you needed. Yes, to. yes, yes. I know you were yes. making a point that um, you, um, you, have, you have been making effort to compensate or pay the boys or deal with some issues with the boys. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. Been so that, that, I think that's the point you were making. Yeah, well, you know that man is, man, that we've been 
we've been trying to liquidate that also. Um, you know, it was, it was a great accomplishment for us to liquidate everything that was owed to the girls um, because it was coming from as far back as 2022. Um, we're trying to liquidate also. We've, we've started to liquidate the position with the boys and we expect by, by the beginning of second quarter um, that we'll be able to do that. Um, for the people are not for the people are not accounting some the beginning of the second quarter is april 1st yeah the second quarter is april 1st right right okay. right. All right so we, we we're looking at based on our, our financial projections we expect to get some funding um by the, by the the you know starter um so we'll be able to address it then because we want to liquidate it but we you know we, we we want to ensure that not just our boys Hey, it seems like you're freezing, Mr. Trump. Part of, part of the issue that we've had, as you know, is that we've been coming from a significant deficit. Um, and a, a lot of people don't realize, you know, that um, up in, within the last five years um, since since this administration has been in office, right, and I've pointed out to them, the tax liability has basically been eliminated, Right. We had a tax liability at the start of this administration of somewhere in the region of close to $300 million, right? Um, right now, they, they, we've, we've liquidated all the principal that's outstanding, right? It is just our application into the TAJ for us to have a write-off of, of, of um, primarily the interest. The, the, the interest right okay. um on or the, or the penalty right um which is about 70 percent of what's due um so there there has been some significant movements on it um but of course we want to get that current and we're, we're current with our tax we have our tax compliance certificate in place which i can tell you is is, is better than many companies in Jamaica, it's tax, right? Is, is, is um, a tax compliance certificate? Is just the one that you get, or is it saying that you are up to date in terms of your payment? Are you tax compliant? Yeah, man, you're right. That which, which is what it means. You're up to date with all okay. the payments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Isn't it because yeah. some people uh, thought like because once you open a business, they can get that very easily. So it is not just getting it. You it get is a that temporary one. Compliant. Right. Well, right, once, right. Once you open your business, you get a temporary one, but then you have to continuously pay your taxes. To be tax um, so they'll give you they'll give you like a six months and nine months, depending on your history. And then you have to renew it all the time. You know. Um so that's just to ensure that you're compliant. I see somebody's taxes. asking how far is the JFF on the legacy debt, how much is owing is not owing. Is this the same? um yeah 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 so so the legacy debt that they're talking about is the deficit that we have so last year for example um which is what 2023 man, you're referring to 2023 right yeah. right so 2023 we managed to report a surplus which would go towards eliminating some of that debt um of course you know one of the things that we've been trying to do also is pay down a lot of the outstanding payables from a while back and you know people don't understand it's a restriction we have so even though funding is coming in now it has to go not just the current but also um past things and what we have to do is manage it very carefully so that when we're in a surplus situation we're paying down that deficit right because we have to we have to get the jff in a position and this is one of the mandates that the president had um we have to get the jff in a position to ensure that we can we are strong so that we can support other organizations you know we've been putting on for example the women's premier league and we've been paying up all of the money that we've promised them we've been paying them to support them because the women's premier league needs a lot of support um and of course the champions cup right that we have in place um so we're, we're trying to strengthen that um obviously it takes a little time it's not just a matter of you know, I saw someone made a comment that how come I said that we have a net loss on the the Gold Cup, but Speed was saying that the, the winnings from that is used to pay off some of the the, the payables that's due. That and, and that's an obvious answer. I mean, the fact of the matter is that if we did not get the winnings, it would have been a worse situation. I wouldn't have been able to pay off a lot of what is due. 
but the fact that we got the winnings means that we were better off by that and therefore were therefore were able to pay it. It doesn't mean that you don't have a net loss on the specific event, but it means that you're in a better position than you would have been if you never have the winnings. You know, and, and those are some of the things that we need to talk that's about. That's a contradiction in itself. That's not a contradiction. So, so, he, so you see, it is not. Term. It is not a no, contradiction. No, no, layman, layman's term, Dennis. Layman's term. If you say it cost me ten dollars to play the tournament, and I made eight dollars for the tournament, and I lost two dollars, how can you use that money to pay down something? Unless you're just playing around with the money. No, no. That's a contradiction. It's not a Dennis. contradiction. It's not a contradiction, right? Because what I said is that we did make a net loss on it, but. Right. The fact of the matter is that if we did not get the prize money, we would have had $5 deficit instead of $2 deficit. So that additional $3, we were able to use it to pay off some, some, some debts. Now, as I said before, it doesn't mean that we don't have funding from elsewhere. We get funding from elsewhere. But if we did not have those winnings, the deficit would have been much greater. So, so what, what was, was accurate? No. So I'll, I'll move on, Dennis, because I, I don't. We, we agree to disagree. Here's a question for you: When should we expect the 2023 financial statements? 2023. Yeah. The 2023 financial statements will be completely audited by the end of March, which is what is due, what it, what was required. But it will not be presented to the public until it goes to Congress, the next Congress after this one. So, what's the timing for that? Any projection on timing? The next Congress, I think, might be about December. December 2023? 2024, yeah. So you're saying the public won't see the financial until a year subsequent to publish. Dennis, that's dated and yeah, that's but my we can't, we, of Dennis. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't do that because remember, remember, you know, if you understand governance, financial statements have to be approved by, by, by AGM. Dennis, I fully understand that, Dennis. I okay. some, so, somehow, so Dennis, then, I work, so, 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 I work in that. Dennis, I totally understand those things. So then, so, then, so, then, Dennis, so, then, so then, how should we? How it's should meaningless. We it's meaningless talking about audit and financial statements when the public can't see them on a timely basis. By the time you publish those, a year already passed. They're used. I have listen, listen. I have to prop, follow proper governance. Well, maybe the process should change, Dennis, to have the Congress timeline. Maybe you should never. Maybe you should have a calendar year. We should have a fiscal year. Sponsors use those. Sponsors want to make sure their money is used for the right purpose. The public want to have trust in the organization. How do I engender that trust? Oh, you engender that trust? Yeah, I publish the financials so they can take it show, show transparency. I show what do we make and what expenses listen, we incur. Listen, one of the things we have to accept, we have to follow governance. That's very important. And, and, and we can't break the governance rules. And financial statements are approved by Congress. Governance that's not effective needs to be changed to make them effective. Governance which doesn't I don't, I don't, satisfy. I don't, I don't, I don't. So, so let me understand this. So until you have a Congress to decide on the, the, the uh, it cannot be made public. Well, your AGM with every company, your AGM with right, every company, right. okay. is where financials are approved. So when and, when is the AGM? Is it is the AGM, the AGM is Congress nine no, months no, no, no. after after the financials have been audited? Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. Oh, literally oh. crazy. I there have never many, heard that before. Listen, listen, there are many companies that have that situation in place. Public companies, many, many com public companies that AGMs are, are months after. In fact, if you look at the stock exchange rules, right. You have up until about, I think, to have an AGM, you have about 15 months after your, 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 your year end. Wow. I think, I think, I think, Mr. Speed, speed I think Mr. Speed decided that he will come on. Oh, Speed, where is it? To answer the money bill part, you know, you know. There, let's come to talk about Premier League still. Never oh, know. Uh, yes, no, no. The man, the man, I tell us your time for your leave, you know, Mr. <laughs> I, I'm going to drop too now. I'm going to drop because I'm going to drop. a long time, man, they run about stage and wait too much. Yeah, man, I'm going to leave, so yes. Thanks, but, but you know that, I checked though. Um, <laughs> one thing I can say with, um, with, with Prince Fuller, let me just say this with Prince, 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 Princess Gillian, 
I think right. what Sp Speed had said is not they. He never said they made the money from the Gold Cup in terms of prize money. It was the same sponsorship money that they got, not prize money from the Gold Cup. I think it um, that that was part of the statement. So sometimes these things have to be very clear because it's easy for someone to walk away hearing monies from the Gold Cup was used and and think that there was a prize money given. And then no, Mr. Chunky said that it is not the money from these that. Because there's no money really from this. It it is, you understand me? We need to be a little bit clear in terms of the communication and stuff. So so my name is say this actually, which is and, and, so, and so people sorry, Mr. Chung had to leave. He had to be here for one hour and he did he did almost two hours. So we have to appreciate that the president came on and we need to talk to Mr. Speed of course Badwood on TV through Cavaliers draw the game. So we need to get to that as a technical, as a head of the technical committee. And of he course, cursed, he cursed <laughs> unsavory words on public. I, well, I will still get to that, Craig. What going on? <laughs> no, my, my, my comment to this is to say that Chung just left, but it's a speed also, which is, I think it is not the right thing. I'm going to use euphemism here. I think the JFF should reconsider the process of publishing the financial statements to the general public especially when there is in a history of mistrust of the organization. One should reconsider the, the nature of the transparency they need to provide, and that comes to one of the avenues is the publisher of financial statements. This concept and idea of publishing financial statements a year subsequent to when they audited, just see, does make, that's not logical. It's just not. And when Dennis come talk about AGM for companies, maybe I'm not in Jamaica, I don't understand Jamaica process, but the SEC here, moved up the, the timeline to audit financial statements from when it was 90 days to much shorter period. And those come out in general public to, to, to their shareholders way after that. So this whole idea, how does that make sense to anybody? So Jamaican rule is you have 90 days to provide your audited financial statement after your year in. Um, so in Jamaica, big companies the best ones that have the best accountants and have the money to for resource would actually publish their accounts before 90 days or ask for an extension which sometimes it is granted but what so but the agm itself is sometimes kept months after because after the people have their financial statement they go out and they do finance they do their reporting you know you know that other book that they published that tells you what they do over there and what the future is going to be all of those things so what then is saying is true um look i i'm not saying it is correct either but i don't see oh you hold jff to a higher standard than grace kennedy it does not make no sense in our mind wait wait but 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 speed does jfk does the grace kennedy, grace kennedy publish the financial statements to the public Yes. Subsequent to the 90 days? Yeah, but that rule is only because they are listed on the stock exchange. No, I understand. Companies I understand. that are not listed on the stock exchange do right. have that requirement. I, I know, but they're private of companies. Which, of, which they the JFF is, of which JFF is one. We're not on the stock exchange. Well, the JFF not. is a quasi-public organization as far as I'm concerned. You that's making why you're in the public domain. You're, making, public. you're making the rules. As far no, no, as no, that's why you're here talking company. to us. That's why you're here talking to us. It's a private company. talk to us in this environment. I talk to you because I like talk. <laughs> and I'm not in the video there. That's logical. And you know that's not. That's why. That's why Ricketts was here. That's why the president was here. That's why Chung is here. It's a quasi-public organization. It's and, not the same. As I, I just want to correct. I just want to correct something. So yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. that takes some correct shots at me. You know. Look here. No, no, no. I, I didn't. I, no, no, no. I, 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 I didn't did call okay. your name at all. No, but it's fine. But it's fine. It no matter if you call me. I didn't fine. call your name. No, 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 but it no matter. I'm mean, not I mean. Are you only supporting the top No, but it no matter. Cranky, I'm not against what you're saying now, so don't worry about it. I'm not against what you're saying. No, 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 you but then. Anything you want to say. Look here, it's a free word. You always tell me this. No, 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 let's, let's figure this out. No. Let's talk about it. You always tell me this. Cranky, you always tell me this. Cranky, let me finish. No, 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 Cranky, can finish. Can you call me on the you Cranky, you can't say anything you want to say. It's a free word. Come on, it's fine. But me just want you get my point, though. Me want you get it from my side. So, so. When we go to the meeting, I'm here to start about one thing. When somebody said they want to choose the coach, me just tell, tell you say it's a red line. Me don't know what the president would say, but me just <laughs> tell you say it's a red line. You can't cross a the line there. No player can choose a coach. Come on. You can't put it up any way you want it. Me just get straight to the point and tell you, say, oh, that's a red line. You can't cross that. 
Now, you see, I'm me have to deal with a lot of the craziest people in you know, football. I'm going tell you plain. And there's a lot of them. So, for instance, a man called me, Speed. I want to send a boy come to the National Under 20 team. Go to Trinidad. I say, I have a Jamaican passport. No. But I just want him to say, in the a Jamaica camp. What do you expect me to tell that the person there? Pretty up that. So, when somebody send me a, 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 get a name, say, I a person they want to coach this national team. When me look, in England, they have investigation for multiple infractions. What me I go do with that the person there? So me have to be guarding the JFF. When a man come and say, he will take money. Me have to say, how oh, you know where you get the money from? How oh, you mean you carry money come to JFF? How oh, you know say I'm not money laundering? I have to deal with the crazies them, you know? So And that is why I have the job with me of because me I tell the crazy people them say, no, that cannot happen. Because me know what will happen down the road. So, me agree with you with who must have soft skills, but some people can't have no soft skills with the people who them are dealing with. Just trust me, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> so, me agree with you with all the way, just say, but me can't deal with things. <laughs> Rudolph, 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 there's a temperament <laughs> thing. There's a temperament <laughs> thing. Same thing you want to say. I, me, I may have deal with the crazy people. Then. You ever see a man deal with a soft skill with a crazy I, person? Yeah, so, so Greg, yes, it's a step away. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, I <laughs> But um, Mr. Speed, we haven't even spoken since Cincinnati. What was the experience like um, for your team? We will just deal with that. Well, Cincinnati, I mean, them, them, them much more disciplined than us. Them play faster than us. It was just an eye opener. I mean, oh, cranky is back. So when you answer this question, he can get back to the boy. Yeah. They're much faster than us. They, they, they're much more disciplined than us. They play faster than us. Them, them have. Them have patterns in them play, which I was able to notice patterns in them play. Um, the, the other problem that we have, and we have enough issues, Jamaica don't even have a, you don't even have a good feel for practice. And so the truth is, them, they, our action, you can see we are looked down, even though they're on a good pitch, them now have to do those things because them train on a good pitch. It is so difficult for you just to. That the still to play was probably the best stadium in the world. It was also the coolest time them ever to kick off a match in the history of the club. I mean, we give our players thermal gears and everything, but I was in thermal gears from head to my foot, and me still cool and a trimble on the sideline. And the players, them, although them in thermal gear, you know, them, it's still exposed, you know, them foot cool. It was just um, levels, two different, level. different levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stadium are the best stadium I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I've been to man to Old Trafford. But just to give an idea how modern it was. And yeah, man. Yeah, man. TQ them is fancy, man. Yeah, I like so, it. I mean, we were just out of we just out of there. We try, but one thing we can promise everybody say it now goes so easy next time if we go back there. So, cause we'd have learned a lot, and we want to tell other clubs from Jamaica what we expect and how to prepare and all of that, and make sure so that Jamaica is a little bit better. But it was a lesson. Yeah. All right. We have a call. This is for, all right. Cranky, we have a call. Let's say the call. You, don't, you don't give me credit for praising you sometimes, you know. You look on the bad, the bad things, let me say, you know. If you give me credit for praising you sometimes. But me never say say bad things. <laughs> me just no, tell you the reason bad. why I am. Metro, you? No. no, I never say say anything bad, you know. What you say is fine, but me just tell you say the crazies where me have to deal with you. I'm going to tell you half of the story then. Where, okay. where me have to deal with Me can't. The president is fine for deal with it, so me can't deal with it, so. So what me going to do? <laughs> so he's admitting that he has no soft skills. Carla, welcome no, I to never said that. I, 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 I never said that. He just, he just went there with the crazy. They got lost along the way. They got lost. No, 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 no. <laughs> me have, cranky. Me have me had a job, Cranky, where everybody have me in a high regard for me other skills that with me in a me other job, Cranky. But the, when me meet the crazies, then me not a choice. I mean, I okay. tell us if I meet enough. If you ever meet half hour, me meet, you don't know, Welcome to the show. You don't eventually get worse than me. You can't what you can't say welcome, man. <laughs> me, I welcome you. You can't tell me you welcome. <laughs> oh, man is man. I'm speed and cranky. I'm speed That's and I said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, um, I mean, did a very good job um, in Jamaica and overseas. Um, for your first time playing at Inter MLS Club, I think you did a very much good job. I have to comment here on that. Um, um, I just want to touch on the TNT and uh, the Jamaica game, man is man, right? Some people there was clamoring to say that um Algrimson, the coaching style, they don't see the coaching style with the, 
the players that locally they had it and put the ball on the ground and pass it together and they don't look like a team did it on a system of play there wasn't a pattern at all and then we should get rid of algorithms and get a better coach right that's what most people are saying what what you would say because you're in the stadium and you're watching the game and you see everything what what you'd have to say is that the Trinidad and Tobago coach answered it quite aptly. He said that this is a very well-coached team, very organized. They have a system. They have a structure very difficult to break down. So if you listen to the Trinidad coach, he, he said the opposite of everything that you just said. So what, what fans want to see is, is okay, right? Um, but people who understand football is that you, you have to have organization. You have to have structure. Um, and you would have seen that the 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 the, the, the Trinidad the Trinidad I'm, I'm just yeah I'm, the Trinidad yeah. coach spoke about the adjustments he had to make in playing against Jamaica. If you look at the game, do you know that Trinidad didn't create any goal scoring opportunity? Our goalkeepers didn't make a save in in, in 180 minutes of football. I just wanted to say again, um, you you never know what coaches have in their minds, people. Trust me, you just well, never know. Al Grimson so far, when he came here, we were in Tatas. I mean, you have to give me praise. I'm eager for him to you know, can't remember. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> right? And when when he, when he came, we were like 68. We know around 55. And what Cranky said about um, him being able, you don't see that problem in you know, the men team as you just seen at the women. It's because him as a coach, a lot of Jamaican coach, I'm not telling you this, you know, there is a thing that you learn in football called common enemy approach. A lot of coaches stick with the players and say the common enemy at JFF, right? Al Grimsey don't have that approach. So, and that's how they get them to play. Al Grimsey don't have that approach. His approach is this. If you come to play for me, I don't care what you and JFF have. You come for play. So, you know why you're not negative, you know why you're pure positive about all of we try to win and build your, build your career and me build my reputation. So, what he has done is to try to make sure, and I'm paraphrasing and not using his words, to make sure that the players have ambition and they have an objective. He has ambition and he has an objective. What he has tried to do is to make two of them come together. I don't know if you understand. So, you will never hear him attack smack about the JFF. I would never encourage his player to talk smack about the JFF. His thing is for JFF, the team, to do well and win and improve the ranking. That's his focus. Unlike you'd have other coaches go out, something rotten before they come to the JFF, them then at the media start talk smack. Then the players then take the coach side and the coach and player decide to them all go against the JFF. And that is what caused a lot of the breakdown. So, the, so you see, more you get a professional coach who understands what he wants to do and what he wants to achieve, then that's how Jamaica will get better results. And it has proven itself in the past too. So Rudolph, as part of the coaching clinics that you run and you engage in, and you have your CONCACAF A license, correct? Yes. Are the coaches taught that part? It's part, part of the course. It's part of the course around professionalism, mm. about how you operate, about how you engage, about how you manage and lead, right? Because I think that's an imperative to success, you know, yeah, as a leader. Like, and a yeah, like the people skills outside of yeah, the... the people skills. Yeah, I mean, it's more than people skills. It's more than people skills. Which I have when I'm coaching, Cranky. So what happened when you stop coaching? <laughs> <laughs> no, ask him what happened yesterday. Ask him what happened yesterday at the sideline. <laughs> So we'll come back to that, man. That's no, no, you know what? It's important because, you know, we talk about it for Jamaican. It's all of us, actually. A Jamaican. Not all of us. Most, yeah. a lot of us, actually, are challenged with that. Yeah. How do I comport myself in difficult situations? Yeah. Right? Which is a hard thing to do for most of us, including yours truly, by the way. How do I react in a manner where I'm in charge of the situation and the situation is not in charge of me? So I, I may increase the challenge in the situation versus diffusing it and get to a good place. No, no, but but I'm saying uh, when you get, you see, remember now, you know, or coaching, as you talk about coaching, right? The more we go higher up, they teach you these things. They teach emotional intelligence in a, a yeah. license. They teach you about the different 
um, ages. The difference, what you call them? Generations, right? So you, 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 uh, your appreciation, all of those. Higher. When you go to a pro licensed job, you know, they're not teaching for coach, you know, they teach you for manage. Okay. So yeah. I'm not even quarreling with somebody who don't even have the knowledge. Cause how do you teach what you don't know? Yeah. And that's so so Jamaica will always stay at this position. If we if we put certain coaches in position, they will never be able to do any better because they just don't know. But 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 then here's the question, Rudolph. Do they get feedback? Because this is important, right? You know, when I manage some of my teams sometimes, I will take them to an environment and give them immediate feedback. It's a constant reiteration of information and communication to get the person to a good place so that it become a habit versus a one-off situation. So how do how do we do that from our coaching standpoint? To make sure the coaches who are coming through learn those skill sets so they can operate effectively when they go out into the world. Yeah. And it's going to take a long time because people don't realize it's so one of the reasons why we're not the better. And I expect us to do better in the next five to ten years, much better. When these new coaches that are getting the knowledge will start to apply it from a younger age. Right. Um, so so it, so but but guess what? The truth is, if you do a D license, that's not in there. If you do a C, it's not in there. If you do a B, you just start uh, touch it. You have to really reach an A or a Pro before you kind of understand it. Al Grimson is a Pro license coach, and him have some other degree, I think, in a coaching, it's like or something in a coaching. So, him understand that to use a common enemy approach might make you win a game or two or or do good in a tournament, but it's not long lasting. It can't work. So, if I come one day. Grant management and know that the the and, and say to my player them say oh the referee are got no ref good for you today it might make them perk up and play a little bit better in our one game but it don't last but we have been so what I've found we have been using that method for too long and that is why the reggae boy senior team have a better disposition them look happy them want to come them play for the coach when them in adversity them fight um, and that we need to get over from the, the female side, which is what we're trying to achieve. All right. We have a, a call online. This is Kyle Wallace. Uh, Alex, sorry about that earlier. You can call back. Um, Kyle, welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Yes, gentlemen. Good afternoon to everybody and to the callers. Um, it, um, it's always good being on your program. Anyway, okay. um, I just want to touch on the point about picking a coach. <clears throat> All right. Listen. The Federation have all right to pick whichever coach they want to pick. But you better make sure that it's it congruent with the fans, the, um, the, the, the players, and the sponsors. This is modern football. Every organization you have, every football organization, that's what they do. They basically tap the pulse of all those three variables to make sure that they get the right coach into position so that they can have a smooth running organization. Example, Liverpool. Liverpool picked Roy Hodgson. The fans turned against him. He was booted out in no time. They're bringing him clocked. He's, he's concurrent with all those three variables. Another example, Rafa. Rafa Benitez is at Liverpool, um, at Chelsea. He was successful at Chelsea. And guess what? The fans turned against him and they booted him out. You know, I, I, I can list examples on and on and on where if you don't have that con concurrency, you're going to have chaos. So you can pick whoever you want. You have that right. But you better make sure that you have those variables lined up. So, the fans, so the Kyle, players, Kyle, and the sponsor. All right, Kyle, let me ask yes, you. Sir. Well, let me ask you quickly. So what coach What coach are you? Which one? Are, you're saying that um, because the fans want Hal Grimson, he should be fired? Because some fans are saying he should no, be no, fired. No, 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 no,
no, I'm asking. So I'm going through the list of coaches to kind of find out mm -hmm. where the issue. No, is. but I'm um, going ask him a different question because you see, I have real life experience. So there was a coach that was put to me by players and big, big important stakeholders. Say, pick a coach here for coach a reggae girl after Lauren left. May I give one specific example? I'm, I'm in a. Anybody want to believe me can believe me. If you don't want to believe me, it's fine too. And the coach is under investigation in England, multiple investigations. So I should pick that coach. No, no. You see, it goes back to what no, I'm saying. Just ask, that, to you know, me, everybody did like that coach there, you know. And, and guess what, you know? Even okay. my technical committee, they like him. Him come no. well recommended and interview good. And even right. we did like him. But he man that multiple explanations. So you can't you can't you have to take what you just said with a team no, in a start. There's other no, factors. No, it, it is never Spain. like that alone. But, but 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 that is what I'm saying. Everything has to be concurrent, meaning everything has to be in nobody sync. knew about Al Grims when I went for him. Hold so hold there's no, hold on, no hold on, nobody knew about Al Grims when I went for him, Kyle. Nobody. And I thought he's doing right. good. And and so I am what you're saying, don't don't cut it. No, no, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I am a Hal, Hal Grimson man, and what I'm saying is this. When you pick a coach, you have to make sure that all the variables line up, or else you're going to have chaos. You're yeah, going to have fine. division. Yeah, man. Wait, wait, no, but, no, hold on. No. Please, but Kyle, what I'm saying, we understand, But Kyle, what I'm saying, I understand that, but are you speaking to, are you are you making a, just, that's all I'm saying. Let, a let's general go. statement, no, a let's, general statement. So, so let me just go one at a time. Just just slow down, Kyle. Just, we are going to give you, so you're making a general statement. Is it because you have not seen this in practice or you have seen the opposite of it? That's all I want to know. And so you are highlighting how it should be done or are you saying this is how it is done and it should be? Because I'm trying to but understand that, where the matter arises okay. from. So go ahead now. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm saying that's what I see in practice. That's what I see in the premiership. That's what I see no, in man. La Liga. No, Kyle. That's what I what. Yeah. But you don't you don't know like I, I, we talk, we're talking about. So I'm not sure. Are you talking about the Jamaica football? It, it, listen, what I'm saying applies to every football entity, every organization, okay? All those variables have to line up or else you're going to have chaos. But you and don't, I don't care right, if Kyle, it's in Jamaica right, so listen, 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 or in listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying, though. Listen to what I'm saying, all right? Uh -huh. Arsenal, so you, you, use, you use club. You use, but but wasn't wasn't there Brendan Rodgers? Are you Liverpool. right? So, exactly. who, so hold on. So did he meet all of those things that you said? Did Pellegrini meet all of those things at Manchester City? And did and the Italian that was there? Good. They met all of those things, but they still got fired. They still lost their job. Right. Why? Be because sometimes because a club be because a better coach no, turned no, up. On, it, no, so no, listen, no, hold on. Wait, no, wait, hold on, hold wait, on. Just listen to what I'm saying. Kyle, Kyle, just listen, just listen to me. Just slow down now. Because I'm trying to get it back to the Jamaica's football. Because I'm trying to I trying to understand the point that you're making without we having an argument. Because I understand what you're saying that when a club is going to hire a coach, because if the if the people at Arsenal, if 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 the people at Arsenal listen to Arsenal fans, Arteta would not get the job. They were, you know who they wanted? Um, Alleg um, Allegri, the UV coach who said he was on sabbatical. You know, so I can right. go on. Some were crying out for Marino, but the board right. went and took Arteta. That went right. against everything that most people had in mind. And look what it has brought them. So I'm trying to get to the point because you're using examples that fit your thing. But there are thousands of other examples that don't fit it. So what I want to do is to bring it back to Jamaica football mm. and say to you, yeah. out of what yeah. you're making the point, is it that the JFF yeah. has as a policy a way of hiring coach without considering the things that you're saying? And therefore, this, these coaches that they have hired, not following these things, they should um lose their jobs I, I trying to understand the point so please just explain it i'll give you time to explain right. it yeah all right how much time are you going to give me take all the time you want cut oh thank you okay so let me explain it to you again 
Okay, this is a general statement that should apply to all coaches. Okay, you have to have variables lined up as to how you select a coach. Okay, now you might not meet all of them, but you're going to look for those variables and they should be in sync with the fans will be acceptable of this coach, sponsors should be acceptable of this coach, and the federation should be acceptable of this coach. Now, some of them you're going to have to work with. Okay, you might not get the ideal coach that you want, but you're going to select somebody that you believe can work into that um, that, that um, pigeonhole. Okay, now Arteta wasn't Arsenal's first choice. I don't know Arsenal um, history really. Okay, but fine. But they brought in a guy who they knew was part of the organization that might be acceptable to the fans. And guess what? He had breathing room to work on building that chemistry within the fans. Not, not only the fans, but the sponsors, but the players. And so everything start like a building process until everything start gel. It's the same thing with Hangrenson. You have some people who, who don't like him, who believe that we could get better. So far, what I've seen, this is somebody who is working into the fans, working into the sponsors, working into the federation. So it's a building process. Now, the point that I'm making is now, now if you go out there and get somebody who you know is totally at war with all those three variables, you're asking for chaos. You're asking for division. That's all I'm saying. You try and get that person who can tick all those boxes. That's the point that I'm making. Okay, so the question I'm asking is that, do you see that happening? Why you'd raise that point? Now, well, I... I I, why I am making that point is because of the statement that comes out that says that um, no player is going to pick any coach. You know, it's, it's like a, you know, it's, 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 it's like a very, you know, I don't know, but it comes but, off but, very but players, antagonistic. But players, nobody, you know? none, of, none of the players at City pick Pep. None of the players at Arsenal pick Arteta. None of the players at okay. Tottenham pick the Tottenham coach. None of the players at Chelsea pick um, what's his name that is there now? No, none of them. All right, and, none right, of them right, pick and, the new and, Crystal and, Palace hold, coach. Hold, 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 no, hold, no, hold, no, hold, I'm, I'm giving him. So I'm, gi I'm giving him. Um, what's his name that just left? Um, he's coaching. None of them. None of the, the players. And don't none pick. of the players that play for Jamaica pick the coach of the other club. None, none of the, right, none, of, very, none, of the player, none of the Jamaican players. None of the Jamaican players pick uh, Hal Grimson. None of the Jamaican players right. picked John Wall. Okay, good. Good point. Now, let me counteract that point. Look at Spain. Look at Spain. Players Expl have a right to vote on which coach they want to coach them. The, no, 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 Players are allowed to vote on the coaches that they want. Tell me where that is, right. Kyle. Give me an example of that. Okay. Give okay. me the example then, well, of the Spain. I, hold, hold on, stop screaming over me. I was going down that road and you cut me off. No, 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 no. The last time you had a program like that, I brought it up. And I said in Spain, and I referenced the, the, the article, and Cronky was on the program, and he said to me, that's an old liar. But... In all honesty, that's what they do in Spain. When they have special elections, players vote. It's 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 like an open election. They vote on the um president. They, they vote on the structure of the organization and the players. I mean, and the coaching is is a okay. part of it. All right, so Kyle, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing, now, Kyle, because we need to progress this. In, there's in, a fuck, man, 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 no, man. Let me let me deal with this. Hold on. So I'm going to give you that Spain. No, I'm going to give you that, Kyle. In in Spanish football, hold on, Kyle. Hold on, Kyle. Listen, listen. I'm going to work with you. In Spanish football, coaches are appointed based on players voting. All right, cool. I'm giving you that. Whether I saw or not, you have won. In Spain, give me an next nation. I don't need another one. And so, guess why? Uh, no, here's why. why. Yeah, here's why. Here's why. No, 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 no. no. You are yeah, using an exception to create a no, rule, though, no, Kyle. But, but, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, yeah, stop. I don't want to create a rule. What well, all I'm saying to you is this, and listen to me, both of you. It has been successful, and if it has been successful, 
we have to work in our so own So one nation of all the footballing okay, fine, fine, but fine, one nation in all fine. the footballing nation use it. Or, you know what? What Rene Simoes did in 1978 was, in 1998 was successful. So we should scrap all that we do, you know, and go back to it because that has been no. proven successful. Sorry, so my name's man, 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 please, on, after you make this correction, the Spain players tried to pick the coach. Sorry, please, Mr. Kyle, give me a minute. I just wanted to say something. You to be successful. That's what you should um, say. No, I thought no, you were talking no. about the Spanish national team. God, I didn't man, man. you were talking Spanish, about the teams in... Go ahead, Mr. Speed. And then, because the Spanish the national team, 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 women players, tried to decide who the coach was, and they all, most of them get fired and then he, can, so he has just changed. He's saying that he's speaking about oh, Barcelona. Oh. He's not oh. speaking about Spanish football. He's talking oh. about Real Madrid and Barcelona, two clubs in Spain. That's what he's talking about. Right. Right. I mean, I'm not so sure about, I'm, 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 so I'm sure done. about I'm the done. Real Madrid because even the coach that is there now is never him them one. I am I am done. I am done with this. So let, let Kyle finish up his point. I'm done. Right. So so because it applies to an a, um, a club team and not a national team, you have basically you know disregarded the whole argument. Anyway, the point is this: it has been successful, and we have to look look within our own cultural economic reality and applies what work for us. That is my point. Okay, now you can agree and disagree, but it has been successful and continues to be successful. Okay, gentlemen, <laughs> now he's having a good talk with you <laughs> and continue the good work. <laughs> Frankie, the good work. Frankie, I, I, have, I have nothing to say. Frankie, so I have to deal with all the time. <laughs> I have nothing to say, nothing to say. <laughs> um, um, let it go. Say. Sometimes yeah, silence is golden. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, silence yeah. is golden. So I, I cannot. So, let me so just say. Let me, let me, let me, let me say a couple of things. One is this: <laughs> it'd be great if we all could agree on who the coach was. It'd be nice to know that the players, the sponsors, FIFA, the government, the dog, all agree with the coaches. <laughs> it'd be great to have that, but that's not reality. Somebody has to run the organization. Somebody's in the final decision using aberrations to inform what is supposed to be generalities doesn't make any sense. And here's why. So Benitez went to Everton. Benitez coached at Liverpool. He was dead from the day he left the door. The only could save him if he won Premier League, frankly. Because even winning wouldn't have saved him. Because Everton hate Liverpool. It's like Liverpool coach coaching Man U. Doesn't that's not logical. That's why these things occur. And frankly, the fans for a certain team in England, in Spain, in Germany, some of those fans. They are the team, in a sense. People don't seem to realize that. Yeah, they influence ownership the decision. Yes. They, they, not even to own the club, man, man. They live and breathe it. And if they're dissatisfied, they'll make your life living hell as a manager and, and a coach. And that's club football, not national team. National team football is completely it's different. It's totally different. So my, there are facts and circumstances that informs these things, man, man. So I would never tell the JFF that all his constituents have to agree on the coach voice like a coach. Then you're not doing your job as a coach. You do your yeah. due diligence. You think about all the permutations and iterations and situations that can inform that. And you make a decision. You can't go say, you know what? Oh, the fans like cranking and I'm going to let the coach know. We can't pay the coach. Really? That makes That's not logical. Sorry. Yeah. Not logical. Well, well, let me take I like to bring up Barcelona as examples. And we see where Barcelona is, Frank. If it's even an example. Using Messi for anything or Ronaldo for anything is not a good example. Yeah. All right. Um, I, I had these two comments, man, and that. Uh, let me see if I can find them. Uh, Mr. Speed, you just mentioned you're out of, um, out of depth. Can you provide three things? Um, I think you learned from the experience, and what would you change to get closer to that level? We, you know what you're saying, though, Mr. Speed. is showing you, you know, how far our local players are possibly from those even in North America, because MLS is not the level. No, I don't. I don't think. To be honest, you know, I don't think it's the the, the um the technique that far, you know, is not the technique, you know, is 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 coaching or the structure. They play faster, they're more disciplined as a player. In other words, they will make the same pass nine times out of ten or ten times out of ten. Our player do it two times and one go do something else. Um, if you look at the goals that we can see, uh, a lot of them are in discipline. I will give away the ball, which those teams don't. So. So it's not necessarily say the players they man for man that much better, but everything else better, basically. So Rudolph, I watched the games. Mm. 
there's a lot of work to be done. A lot yeah, of work to be done. I agree. Not not at this level, at the much more junior level. Yes. Right? And and probably the problem Jamaica will face, like most developing countries, is resources. How do I get the coaches, the infrastructure, the support for the players, the holistic football approach? If you don't have the resources, Rudolph, the question is, how can I get there? That's going to be difficult to attain. Well, our thing right? is really education. We can't, we can't compete with anything else. It has to be education. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it was interesting watching the game and analyzing the game and the difference between the two teams. Granted, their teams are a mixture of different players, right? Yours is mainly Jamaican players. They're, they're pulling players from different countries all over the world, all over the world to come to combine. And they, they bring them with certain skill set. They come in from day one with certain skill set, which may be ahead of your players. So it's difficult to compete. It's difficult to compete. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Jason Guna also asks, is there a, a breakdown of the age demographics of the coaching course Participants and he said he'd love to see that data. No, 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 no. What we were, what we did in the A license, we did the different generations. So, like you have generation alpha, or some people call it the next name, which is like 14 year on down. You have you have generation XYZ, which is the one that Cavalier predominantly use, which is up to 29. And then you have a gener the generation before it, a generation Y, I think. I don't remember what it is. So, what happened is that the participant meaning the, the, the demographic, the, like no, the players person. that you're coaching, the players that you're coaching. Come on, the, you're afraid of the age demographic of the coaching course participant. Oh, oh right? I don't, I don't have that. I like, don't. like, where are they from in Jamaica? What is oh, your no, age? no, we spread right across Jamaica now. And the age um, range are they the younger people or older? Yeah, man, we have, oh, yeah, man, we have as we have, uh, we had uh, even a couple of teenagers, we have. Various age up to people who are still 61 to do the course. Same so, is there, I'll say from 20 to 60, that's the type of people we have. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, management, I'm, I'm in Georgia. Management, I went to a lacrosse game yesterday. And the facility, it is a high school management. The facilities were ridiculous. And I'm thinking about Jamaica and say, how the heck do you compete? It's hard to compete, management. Whether it's the stands, the feel, <laughs> The yeah, announcer's yeah. box, it's hard to compete. But this is a high school management. It's not the most well-known high school. But that's what I'm saying, which is what I want to talk about, because TQL, do it's a newer stadium, you know? That, that's the, the other teams in Cincinnati play on good surfaces. This is just one, which is, which is a right. major, major... And it's not just Jamaica, you know, because we were in Trinidad and Tobago. And it is the same issue. So even the field that people talking about, the, the surfaces may look good on TV, but they were not the best. And Mr. Speed said something. Our players have to look down on the ground to make sure they can see where the ball is going to bounce and turn and stuff. <laughs> you can trust the bounce in those places. So you are automatically going to play faster. That is, you look at Everton. Oh, here's the difference of management. Here's the difference of management. When, since that, they played in Jamaica, <laughs> They still like a much better team, even on a poor surface. Yeah, that is true. Right? Because I watched the game and yes. I said to myself, how come they look so comfortable on that surface, even though the bounce is not true bounce? So there's well, more the to it. Than wasn't, was, it's more wasn't, than just wasn't, the field. No, the stadium the field wasn't that bad, bad you know. The problem is, is not, is not, we developed the habit already from our field that we're training on. So even if we go up on a new field, we'll still do the same thing. That, that's the point I was trying to Okay. So everything is everything is slow, I know, because yeah. let, me, let me give you a good example, Cranky. I think Trinidad has bet, some better surfaces. I'm going to tell you this, what I believe. You see, the technical skills in Trin the Trinidad players, to me, always look better than the Jamaican players in terms of just how they, they like they, they control and pass the ball. And I think that has a lot to do with the surfaces. Now, I think the Jamaican players are ahead of them. But in terms of those little controlling and pass, I don't know, but we have to do something with the surfaces, which also forces some of our players to play more long passes and play more aerial passes than on the ground because they don't trust the bounds of the surface. They don't trust the bounds of the surface. So, Mr. Speed, that is something that really has to be worked on, you know? Well, you know what I see, Manish, man? You know what I see, actually? I see two important things i see players for cincinnati being comfortable under pressure i see them being extremely well organized and i see their movement being movement which allowed them to create space which may not even be their management 
those were very apparent to me during the, when I watched the game. The other thing that I found with with majority of the, 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 those, those teams, they don't play afraid, which was very important. They are they they're not afraid to overload areas even because they trust the teammate to give them the ball still. So even if we had two people up up the front at the half line, right? And the ball is supposed to be played over to the left side. The left stop, I would really run, go over there, f- 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 position himself to receive a pass. Don't care, say, there's going to be two and two or two up versus one because they trust their teammate not to give away the ball and make a good pass. So, and they also trust their teammates to counter press. So if they even give away the ball, they trust the teammate to counter press. So they're not worried about um peering at the back. They are doing them thing, and, and I thought that was really um something to behold. And um, if we could emulate that, because in Jamaica, you know, if we have two forward, three away stay back, you know, we now move ourselves, we get in a position to make the play easier for attacking a three away stay back and say you have to have three for, just in case them win the ball. Those guys don't think like that at all. And those things are, are fun. Uh, I was really yeah, admiring. Let, let, me, let me tell you something I realized too. And I think something we have to train our forward. Since Sanati did this, and um, I think even Trinidad, is that all the players go back and set players. All 11 players. So if there's a corner kick against them, all 11 players are back in defense. And then when they get the ball, they break out. In Jamaica, I mean, I mean even for me, Previously, I'd coach like the forwards are a couple of forwards to stay up. So, oh, oh, and, and, and so what you find a lot of our forward players who are normally taller players don't even like head ball and defense and the defensive end, you know. Just just what Jamaican forwards. They really they don't tackle because we normally tell them to stay up and try play on the counter from there. When you watch the Cincinnati team, all 11 players go back on defense. And then somehow they break out to the flank like they have four people sprinting forward whenever the keeper receives that ball. Is that something that needs to be fixed, Mr. Speed? Or is just coaching or you coach it differently? Uh, that is a matter of decision still. Because if you have really short players, you probably don't want to put them back to try different across. So you prefer to bring away a couple of players with them if you have really short players. So um, it is a matter of... Of, uh, that's a tactic, you know. It, it depends on what some coach leave all three players up front for, for keep back four, right? Um, some coaches put all 11 back, it's something that we used to do put all 11 back. But the truth is, we are two very short players, so we kind of say, you know what, it better you go up and carry back three because everybody on the other teams usually taller than our two short players, so it's a, it's a you have to decide. But this one, I, I agree with Rudolph on that because I have a different view on that. I've always <laughs> believed. No, because you want one, to get the cranky. You don't no, like no, that for defense. No, 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 no. I always okay. believe that if I put one forward on the halfway line because you can't offside, the opposition has to use two players because they're not going to trust mm-hmm. one player to mark him. So I have one less player attacking me on the, yeah. on the set piece. Yeah, yeah. Right? If I put all 11 back, then they can bring 10 up or 9 up. Everybody. Have, yes, exactly. All right. Pressure is eased by having great uh, spatial awareness and movement. Technical ability helps, but we're teammates decide to be to receive the best um is the best relief of pressure i believe that that is which is what i was explaining so even if i'm marking a center forward and my teammate need me for a pass those things that they play don't care they're going to help the teammate uh, and and don't care about that man who is there they, they trust themselves that even if the pass don't go good they, they will be able to counter press or somebody will be in a position to to kind of recover and that was no really I, cool. I think what they've been teaching nowadays rudolph is this which is what arsenal never did under wenger i should be prepared to lose the ball and i should be pushing it away to know when i lose it i can recover defensively mm. wenger never taught that when we used to lose the ball when wenger was a coach we always give up goal and fast break because we never set up when we're attacking to realize i could lose the ball and how do i defend if i lose the ball mm. where am i situated right in today's football now Arsenal and Man City play with two defenders in them most times because they have big, strong, quick, and they can recover. Mm-hmm. I, I was playing with Cavaliers, though, in the context of they played hard. Even when it was cool, I didn't see them looking cool to me. They were running and playing hard. <laughs> they more play hard. Like there was a difference in quality. Mm-hmm. There was yeah, a yeah. difference in quality. Yeah. They played yeah. hard. Yeah, and Mr. Speed, yesterday you 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 dropped some points. Um, <laughs> a goal was scored that uh, we still tried to figure out why. It, I don't. You, you, I guess Frankie didn't watch the game, but it was taken <laughs> back. It was taken back. Um, 
And and um, yeah, I mean, and I mean, you you were not happy. What did you? What what was going on in that post match interview, man? I mean, you lost your cool on TV. Yeah, um, I did. I, I was wondering, you know, they have a, a second delay for the TV thing. I'm wondering if they... they, they, they... He spoke too quickly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of his language was caught on TV, you know. That was before the interview. I think he was speaking to the fourth official or something. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> fourth official was threatening to call a ref on me. So I was telling that, <laughs> what else can you do at this time? Because, I mean... <laughs> I mean, you should be talking to the ref about what he's doing because you are the FIFA ref. So we had a, a exchange there. But I mean, I mean, it was so blatant. Fresh God, said, Fresh God said it was a foul. Fresh God, I don't believe that the keeper was fouled. You and I are different. I thought the goal was clean. The player no. passed the ball past the keeper. The keeper, because the keeper was coming in sideways. But touched his back foot. So right. It's a penalty, Fresh God, if anything. He hit up on the player. But the back player foot. was able to keep his balance and no, still keep back foot, you know. The back foot, that could be very clear. The back foot, the ball was five yards in front of the player when he moved it past the keeper. The keeper still sliding when the player was trying to pass him, touch the player back foot. But it not even contact was not even so much that the player would have dropped in, or the player kept going and just like and kick the ball in the net. Yeah, in one motion, everything. And and they said, Mr. Speed, um, one of the things that they said on the, the, the broadcast was that when you played against Limehall you got a penalty and they said uh, at that time you, you know you 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 were happy for the point so you were not getting a penalty why not stop talk something like so them said the guy handle the ball them said the guy handle the ball before it going at the goal that's what them said yeah right they handed the ball before it went in the goal and uh, in the interview they, you know they ask yeah you know you were you know you said sometimes referees uh, miss one so maybe they miss this one no my problem is, <laughs> my problem is, you can't talk about controversial goals and clear goals, two different things. There's goals that are controversial, you know, where it's 50 50, it could go either side. But you have controversial goals and you have clear goals, two different things. Oh, oh okay, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, Brian, the player scored the ball with his hand. Yes, yeah, so the player scored his ball, the ball with his hand. They're saying, Mr. Speed, that one was for your team, and it should not have been a goal. So they're saying that you shouldn't but complete. If you, if you, you see, I don't want to go down the hard road, panics because I can't tell you about a whole heap of other goals that one was going against. How about you with them? Not you with the man Eddie and the ref said no and said we for the keeper. Well, nobody was near the keeper. I mean, so is is I am not telling them that. I, my point is, if the referee did did blow off his hands, I would have a problem with it. I wouldn't have a problem with it. So make nobody nobody believe say me want good cars. Me I said the referee, they must ref the match them like all them ref overseas cars. Them very good in a Kanka calf. Very, very good. In a Jamaica, have, have, different standard. We have Jason online. Jason, welcome to the show. You you watch you watch and you listen to the commentary. You saw Mr. Speed reaction. What, good afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody watching. Good afternoon, Speed, Cranky, and Mannings, man. I'll call it in before big up on myself. So, Mr. Speed, um, one thing I have to ask you about the, the thing yesterday. You said just now that when, when you were asked why this wouldn't be considered just a bad call, you said no, it's a missed call. So, wouldn't you say that, you know, that determination is basically going to be based on whoever is talking about the situation? Because no. someone else who saw that would just call it a missed call, no. but you're no. saying no, it's a difference. Yes. But what determines because that, there were other calls that we should have gotten too, like other penalties that we should have got in the game. That is, yes, that is why I said that. Penalties yeah. in the game. Yes, there was one where my player put him body in front of the defender, defender bunged him over from behind. That's an easy call. Easy like cheese. And again, and 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 again, it, that those are those are situations in football why we have. Um, you know, after matches are played, people talk about games because you'll have 100 people in a room and 50 will say it was a foul. And 50 there was a hands to no in the box twice. No, wait, no, it, no, that, no, no that was a free kick that hit in the wall. And, and I, I didn't see the I, right, you saw that, Jason. I think Cavaliers, yeah, I, saw, yeah, I, saw. I didn't think they, the ball hit the player. No, there was a hands from a corner. I so I was, I was, look here, look here. What, you see, what? you see all the hands on them. I didn't even, I wasn't even saying anything about those because I knew 
that the ref could say it controversial the player and was near to him he was trying to move him on them have some different rules with hands ball on the back so me wouldn't even i i would i wouldn't even talk about this i'm a fear person the ones that i'm talking about is the last one and the one where the player put him body between the defender and him and the defender because cincinnati in cincinnati that's the exact foul that the referee go go to var and call against us against him for the penalty exact right. foul. But, but hold on mr speed, speed. go ahead jason but mr speed you 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 are a student of football that is clear yeah. wouldn't you say that there have been plenty of calls in the premier league this year the the, the english premier league or even the jpl where if, if you played it back for 10 people, five would say one thing and five would say another thing. That's the beauty of the game. Everything is down to interpretation. Yes, there are rules that are written, but the rules are written in such a way that it will always come down to the determination of the referee on the day and the officials refereeing the game. My only point to you is you were, you were very accepting of a call that was controversial in your favor. No, that's what you think. No, well, I reckon Philip is a speed. No, that is literally what happened. How can you how can you not say? You don't know what is in my mind. That's what you think. No, we are talking about the lime all decision. No, I right am not in agreement with any wrong call. That's oh, what you okay. guys think. So you should have, you should have in agreement with any wrong call. You should have so it. The one that them call against Mount Pleasant, when they look on the man's no, shoulder. No, I am no, not in agreement not, with it either. They when the player not. use him hand and push the ball in the goal. I am not, not in agreement with it. You oh. I look like a cheat. I'm not in agreement with it. I know, I know. What it happened? And, and my point is, but my point is, Mr. Speed, on that day, when you were asked about it, you did not have the response that you had yesterday when the call went against you. That's all I'm saying. And if you don't think that that is what you displayed, then maybe you misspoke and you didn't mean to do that. But I'm just telling you how it looked from yeah. me as someone who has watched both instances. It was just, hey. it was quite... It was quite funny to see. It was a catch up because you were smiling. You, you were smiling out the bad call for the live up. You thought it was a penalty. You don't even know anything. So you say Rudolph sound like Rudolph sound like clap. Hey, no, so <laughs> you thought it was a penalty. You don't even know. I anything. watched the live up clip. The man was smiling. You said it was a penalty. You no, don't know. You were anything. laughing at the end of the interview. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> the man was happy. No, I'm I'm I said Rudolph sound like clap. Look here. I watched clap with Tottenham game and clap with the game against Tottenham Forest, and there's two different persons. What I, know, what I know before you go in the first, I say, you know, me, 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 when I like the Jamaicans, when the, when the people in the English Premier League, nothing not wrong with cars that go for them, but see everything with cars that go for them. They're not, with Jamaican, they're not a problem with them, you know. But one no, of no, Jamaican, we have a problem with club. No, you're probably clap. No, no, we have a problem, Rudolph. Come on, Rudolph. You're probably clap. Can they Liverpool? If it's Arsenal, we have a problem with him. Jamaican fans are like Jamaican fans are like any. Look here. I know controversy. Let, let, let Jason. Let Jason so finish. We will, oh, oh, no. we will make apology if you're if you're an Arsenal fan. We make apologies for Arteta's madness all the time. If you're a Liverpool fan, we we we, we hide. We don't we don't bother clap when him run half the field when they win a game, right? But that, that is all it's about. It's not about Jamaican fans are more than any other fans. This happens everywhere in the world. If it, any any bad call that's made in England or anywhere around the world, people talk about it for the week after. It, this this happens everywhere. My my main point, Mr. Speed, when I why I called in, is because I think you are you are downplaying the fact that after the game yesterday you were upset and you probably used words that maybe. If, if they had spoken to you like today, today. you sound way more measured talking about it than you did yesterday. <laughs> yeah. That's all. So yeah, and that's what happened everywhere in the world. I think so it Rudolph, is. Let's, know, let's, know, let's, know, let's learn. I don't speak immediate after an emotional event. No, but isn't that happening with every coach in the world? Yes, yes. No, we have one like saying, come on, make different friends. You should, you should you know, that no, interview. No. Eh, no, <laughs> then, then you know, the coach get. The reason, the reason the coach in that interview get a 10 month ban after I don't talk after the ref. I think they should get five. Oh, they no matter what they're giving. No <laughs> and, and, and this call, this call was not about me calling to say, boy, you, you, you acted out a turn or whatever. That is passion. That is what coaches do. That's what happens. But no, come on the air now and go on like you never do it because you did it. Mm -mm. Never do what? Angry. Are you true? You cuss no, bad what, man? Call, Them minutes that me never angry. <laughs> and I'm talking, 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 talking about. I'm just talking about like when when you are in a better situation mentally after winning a game and there was a controversial call, 
you had the time to give the refs that benefit of the doubt. When the call... Ooh, I never win the game. That... What you talking about? I never win the game. He, he, he threw the game with Lyman. Yeah, he drew. No, yeah. When, when, okay, when a call happened in the game that ended up in your favor, your 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 response to the question about the call... So which other coach? You know that every coach do? What you talking about? Speed. You know that every coach do? Going about... So, no, listen so what he said. So, well, so why it must be different from our next coach? No, listen what he said, Mr. Speed. Listen Mr. what he Speed, said. Speed, you keep yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to make you different from any other coach. You keep saying that. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, you, you know the term, keep the same energy. You didn't keep the same energy yesterday because you could have easily said. But why you not keep the same energy every time? Are you not me? Me and me and you are you. Me not have no problem if you keep the same yes. energy. Our next coach, you not keep the same energy. Yes, you're not going to get any weird with me. Hey, Mr. Yes, Spoon, go with the argument. I, I think he kept the same energy. <laughs> His energy was bad when he lost and it was good when he drew. When the call was his favorite, he kept the same energy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, Mr. Mr. If you, you just you you just for the for the value of the show, you're you're acting like you're not hearing what I'm saying, but that's okay. P other people will hear what I'm saying look and understand here. what I'm look saying. Here. Let me tell you something. You, see, you must look further up in the court. You see when the referee them have them 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 teaching moments a peer cavalier clip. If them have six clip five of them have a cavalier. Me just tell you that. Hey, Jason, listen. Oh, so, 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 there is in your mind an, an underlying agenda against Cavalier by the referees. Because when no, you said it, it, class, no, I think he made it positive, uh, actually. No, I think he made it, he made it positively. You made it positively, um, Rudolph, or you made it negatively? Look here, me, <laughs> sir. I'm gonna tell you what me is about referee. I'm gonna tell him in front of them. Uh, then I see them ref in a conquer cuff. They are so good. I need to see them standard now, Jamaica. Not just for me, but for Jamaica. So, so Mr. That's Speed, Mr. Speed maybe, maybe the referees need better fields too. <laughs> <laughs> because that's, that's, the a, that's the a new angle. If they're, if they're coaching, well, if that's they're a coaching, new angle. The referee, no, no. The no, referee, no, what the referee needs bar. Yeah. They need bar. They need bar to help. They need bar to help. They need yeah, bar. Okay, okay yeah, well. Hey, Jason, you need to invite him up. Uh, Mr. Speed, Jason, go on a TV and you need to go and check it out. People, you need to check out. Jason, when is the next no, show? No, no, I'll go on TV. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, before, hey, Jason, where you go? So, Rudolph, let me start my channel. You're not coming up with the channel. Yeah, 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 I'm going to hear this. I'm going to hear this. I'm going to hear this. Huh? Rudolph, not coming up with the channel. I'm going to start my channel. You would have you like a bit of leader. Oh, you like Jason. Yo, no, I want to take on you, you know. So you anytime you want me crank him, I'm ready for you. <laughs> yeah, but Jason, when, when is the next show, Jason? Just tell the people them how to um, find and the name of the channel. Yeah, so yeah, the name of the channel, Jason Guna TV. Drop a subscribe over there, people. Just getting started out. Definitely I'll talk about Mr. Speed from time to time. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Reggae boys, reggae girls, EPL, a football <laughs> fan, you know, I've been in the chats talking and things. So, you know, if you think I, if, if you think I talk with sense sometimes, or even if you don't think I talk with sense, forward over and join the discussion. And I'm sure one day Mr. Speed will come around because I actually think that he, he um, offers a lot to the space in Jamaica. I think he's one of the few coaches that I hear using the word education pretty much every time he talks. And for that, I have to give him maximum respect. So, you know, he, even though he, he, I guess he thinks I'm against him in some way, but I just am somebody that doesn't. Yes, really I don't really think that. Yeah, I don't so. think that. That was a joke. And invite yeah. him, man. He will come over there. I don't man. think that, Jason. Yeah, no, I, I don't think. I, that. I, I will. Um, right, right <laughs> now, right now, Mr. Speed on on this YouTube, uh, field is is above me, so. I will put in my work, and when, when <laughs> Mr. Speed thinks I'm worthy, I'm sure he will join. <laughs> no, 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 Hold on, Jason. When management only had three persons, and me, the start company. <laughs> so you have to you boost him, you boost him, channel, you boost him, channel. <laughs> Mr. Speed, it's all like, it's all like, it's all like, me need to call you, I'm about you every day then. <laughs> <laughs> well, people, Mr. Speed will be on my show very soon then, because we want the channel to grow and think. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, the next show that I plan on doing, um, I did want to just do a rundown of the 60 man squad and go through all the players and their form and try to try to just have an exercise and see if we can kind of narrow it down and see where the coach might be looking to based on form, injuries, and all those things. Um, I'm probably going to do that stream tomorrow evening and I will put out a time at some point. So 
Let's look out for that, people. We're going to go live and do a little show, and hopefully everybody can get involved in the conversation. All right. Bless up, Jason. Go on. Respect. All, all over. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Respect. All right. Cool, cool. One of the man with a lot of info in, in um, when it comes down to the YouTube space. Yeah, man. But, hey, Mr. Speed, we have to give a respect, you know, because no matter what you come out still. But I think, like you, I agree that that was a poor call. I think there have been some some poor call in the in 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 the in 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 the in the league. Unfortunately, we don't have far. But my question though is that man, before you go, man, before you go further, I gotta talk about this guy because I keep hearing this in different forums. About poor calls happen everywhere, almost every day. Okay, in every league, even the league that has the most money, most sophisticated, and we hear the same thing. They have to be better, be better. They're human beings and they're fallible. They're gonna make mistakes. Even with virus, still make mistakes, man. So we should we should not be denigrating the, the, the court, the referees and the officials in Jamaica. We should try to find ways to uplift them. Yeah, but because, man, is man, the Knicks just got two cars in two separate games, two successive games, and they came up subsequently and said the cars were wrong. One cost them a game and one allowed them to win a game. Okay. They won the most, they won the league where, which has the most resources in the world, man. man. It happens. Well, cranky, cranky, you yes. know why it's happening, though? It, um, because the world gets more modern. Yeah. You see, referee bodies now come out and apologize to club for calls. You know what yeah. that? Yeah. So, you see, if that happens, you feel better. Say, all right, they make a mistake. But when they now apologize for it and, and, and then review it, then you wonder, is it a mistake? Because if a man make a mistake, what is logical? If he come and him say, yo, me give you a bad call. But if he uh, now, if him, if he, if they don't shut up, you don't know if nothing happened to them because there is no, you you will never know. All right. So if you do something as a coach, the referee come in, give you a red card, him embarrass you, give you a yellow card, run your guy yard. When them do something that is wrong, who them do the same thing with players, do the same thing with administration, do the same thing with club, sanction them. Is the only set of person if they get sanctioned, you don't know. No, yeah, well, they're, Jama they're Jamaicans. They're Jamaicans. No, in Jamaica, because I think the gentleman. They're Jamaicans, man. Is man. No, they're Jamaicans. No, yeah, but the guy who did Liverpool, who did Liverpool just did beat by one. Not, not, not on Forest. Not on Forest. He, he, isn't he suspended? No, he's going to work VAR the next game. He's working VAR the next game. Yeah. So they took, him, they took him off from court duty. They took him off <laughs> of, of on-field duty, which is a suspension, really, and put him in VAR because he gave back the ball to Liverpool, which yeah. allowed Liverpool. Um, to score in that game, and I see Rudolph, this... that's more recent though. Rudolph, they never used to do that, you know. It's pressure from media and fans which force more transparency. So, we're talking about the JFF forever about which is transparency sometimes alleviates some of that. Convinced, convinced. You are one of the main person who use that word the most. You know, me convinced say your lexicon only knows certain words. <laughs> yes, I'm not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat the transparency. Uh, and the one there is one of them where you where you where, where you know. Important, important, important. You need to use on different words because you can change the whole narrative. Because I think Chung do a good job in trying to manage all of the finances, etc. And but there's rules. Hey, 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 Rudolph, Rudolph, I'm gonna tell you something, Rudolph. Here's a secret. Somebody, man, this man know this pretty close to me. Told me they add up how much time I spend with Dennis, nine hours, and I went around in a circle. They beat me, man. I'm, Beat me because they said we talk about the girl situation for three hours and three consecutive show, and we're not coming or going, which suggests that he's not being as transparent as he should be. And if I give him suggestions, he ignore my suggestion. Can you see me know me at that boat? You and see the word again. Thing. You see word again. You see me tell you about that word. Eh? Suggestions. What? What? You know, what the word? Transparent word. You just use it all the time, cranky. Stop using it now, please. Stop using it. Right. Okay. Okay. I think in, uh, you, you know what? The other words I could use. <laughs> okay, some people believe he's, 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 wait, 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 no, no. He's economical with the truth. How about that? Some people believe he's economical with the truth. That's what they believe. I don't use those words. I use more euphemism to try to engender more engagement, not create division. Look, there's some things that people cannot tell that happening in a meeting. You have, to, you have to understand that. Okay. You know, say, I'm one of the persons who talk more than other people. Then just can't tell you. I'm going to try to go near to the edge where me and stop as much as I can because you know better. So there are certain things where we cannot tell you. 
So Douglas because said I should use the words you use on TV. I should use those words you just use on TV recently. <laughs> 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 not, not from the sideline last night, Duclan. Because uh, if you, if you, no, but if you talk certain things where you know as a fuck, it don't make things worse. No, I don't disagree with that, no, Rudolph. I, I, I totally agree with confidential information should retain, should remain in the environment is meant to stay in. But there's some things you can provide to the public which is not gonna endanger that confidentiality and allow the public to be better informed. Yeah, but we Can't told it from November last year that we paid everything. Right? You know, three months after, we now get confirmation that we were telling the truth. Everybody was saying, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know. and, and um, the truth is, look, with every, we, all me see it, if we owe $2,000 after paying $2 million, I mean, come on. And some of them are new claims based on our, our record. So, you know, but we were saying it a long time and nobody would believe. So is some of those things we make well for some time, you know. But no, no, Rudolph. That to me, to me, to me was never a money issue. It was never a money issue. It was a, it was I've, I've said this numerous times, it was never a money issue from where I sit. Even though we go back and forth about when point payments were made, it's about one side feeling aggrieved that then I get in their way and the other side saying, you know what? Oh no, can come run this because we run this. That's the way I view it. I'm that apartheid, but that isn't everything. Because yeah. Grant, if people can push it so far, and then you have to stop off. Yeah, I, and I totally understand that. And you hear me get a little beaten in some positions I've taken about this subject. I thought it was the smart move from either side about how they operated. I thought the JFF should have been the bigger, should be the adults in the room. We tried. You know. yeah. We tried. We yeah. tried. But there's a next angle, you know, which I don't even want to bring it up here. But one day, me tell you. But we no, tried. look, I, I, can, I can imagine, I can, you know, think about direction of travel and why some things work the way they did. My thing about this is, is this. We all want the football to progress, right? We just talked about Cincinnati and Cavalier and why teams, there are some differences between the two teams because we know we don't have resources. But the other things we can bring to the table which allow us to be closer to those teams. But dissension is not one of them. Right? Dissension is not one of them. We have to find ways to operate and as the president just said, no, Rudolph, which is interesting, even if football can be a catalyst for the country, because we know we have a lot of social problems. So how do we think about all these things which are on the periphery, which can help inform the country and bring the country to a better place? And the football by itself will benefit from that if the country is much more involved in the football. We have to find ways to do that. Yeah, but if you keep on using that word, Cranky, no, people will believe you. That's what, the, that's what word? Point, you know? What word? You know which word. I'm not repeating. So, but I just didn't use it a while ago. I just used it a while ago. I didn't bring no, the word. No, no, no. But, but the other <laughs> one million times. I'm just saying that when people... So, look here. All me see. People, yes, we have issues. You know, we have all of our issues. But just like all yes, because we alone can't solve all our issues. We need help from other people outside too. But if everybody a beat, a beat, tell them I come and a beat every night. Not even a talk the truth. I try to find out the truth. Listen, um, then, Mr. Mr. Speed, oh, this is a night time. We are hmm? about just that. That's probably one. How many person will be tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't come on these programs to beat anyone, Rudolph. I'm just yeah. trying to provide information that I know about, that I have information on. I try to find ways to help people have better dialogue to understand that conflict is not the way to get to progress. Oh, it's true. True, but no, well, I couldn't say it like that because, cranky again, you see, because my kind of start study some things, it's not actually true what you just said. Because after World War One and World War Two, after World War Two, they had um commercialization, merchant people, you know, there was mass production and stuff. Sorry, after World War One, right? Then you start of mass production and stuff after World War Two. At that time, start people start use plane for fly all over the place. Scare travel because they are these war planes and they never know if you use them again. So conflict actually every time there's a big conflict, the world actually change direction for the better. But that's suggesting that without the conflict, you wouldn't have made progress. Not so fast. And that maybe, was maybe not. Maybe. I no, mean, no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe. It, it is proven. No, it but is, but right now, true. you know, much money we have to spend for re rebuild Gaza and rebuild Ukraine after this all <laughs> over. Well, it may not look, be worth it. Look here, and even even at the Vietnam War, that's when them started internet, you know. So it's true. 
about rough for them time that the military start using internet to communicate. So it's true. It is actually true in a country. Every time you have major conflicts in the world, there is a big jump in a in a civilization, um, better life. So, so better. it's equate that to football though, because we see conflict in Canada, we see conflict in Spain, we see conflict in France. They're not making progress when it comes. No to man, Spain won the World Cup after the conflict. No, no, Spain won the World Cup despite the conflict. <laughs> <laughs> well, can't <laughs> So I mean, no, no, no. We laugh, but it's true. Every every major country in the world, some would come out right afterwards. I mean, so 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 some of the time, it you're right. Your conflict will always happen, but we must solve it. That that's a little change I was trying to make. Yeah, yeah, and I think look, it's unfortunate we're missing the Gold Cup, right? Which is very unfortunate because it's the inaugural Gold Cup for the women, and we yeah. know how far women game has come over time because the men have dominated. Haven't spent the time and effort and resources on the women game as they should. Not Jamaica, just in total globally. Women are not pushing the envelope and saying, you know what, this needs to change. We have done really well. The women's team has done better than the men's team, you know. Of in course, terms and of I am rank, I rank exactly. So the question is, if that's the case, I'm frustrated that because I would love to see the women playing in the Gold Cup this year. We see Mexico beating the US, which to me is huge in this region. Because the US and Canada have dominated, especially the US. We have a chance to be part of that conversation. No, we don't. It's unfortunate, but yeah. I, as you say, um, I always thought that when I saw the magnitude of the problem, that it was never going to be solved quickly. It, the problem was just too great, and I was in the meetings. I saw that early, and I kept on saying, it, say, listen, there's a big, 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 big divide here problem. And, and I know where it came from and how it started. Um, and it was never going to, to be solved. I, I, even now, I think people are still deeply hurt on both sides. And um, I don't even know. And, you know, there's some progress, but I don't know. Either when it's going to be solved. Um, I think one thing we have done is, is removed it. I think we have removed it. The, the, um, the, the action that we are taking to suspend their selection. So they, are, they, they can play now. So, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, look, look, hopefully we can start a new slate and move forward. People can mm -hmm. people can maybe their feelings too much. And mm -hmm. you have to understand that this is business. It's not about your feelings. And sometimes you have to take your hurt and manage your hurt and move forward, right? Yeah. I think that's where it has to go. Um, yeah. but also the program would have lost Cidela, who is a it's a big part of it. Right. So again, every you have to take everything in the context. I, I thought it was, you know, I thought we were getting along still, and it, and that shouldn't, that, that didn't have to happen, but it happened, and that's right. why I'm telling you, it might take longer than everybody think. I mean, it just might take longer, and we just have to be patient. I hope so. When we build, we build back stronger. Right. So, what what are your thoughts on the upcoming um, Nations League semi final? I'm hoping to be there. Um, it would be interesting. Are you going to be at the game? Yeah, yeah, I, I should be there, um, but I was more open to go to the the, 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 um, the Copa. I was more preparing for the Copa. Right, um, but I don't know enough. Copa tickets are ridiculously priced. I mean, I was looking at Copa tickets. There's not. I, I it's I'll not digestible at all, boy. Not digestible. I hope I'll be able to get a free one. But I was thinking more <laughs> going to the Copa because I'll be in competition for for um, Premier League still in the in the other one. Oh, okay. okay. And I might lose a one or two player. Hopefully, I might lose a even a, a probably one or two. Uh, hopefully, I might, I might lose a player or two, which would mean that it would, I'd need to be here even more if we lose players. If we don't lose players, then I could probably take away. I mean, even if I go, I don't think I'll be able to go for more than probably one match. And come back. Yeah, I'm looking at tickets for the Copa, and um, the prices are not digestible, I would admit. <laughs> I would I would love to go to a few games, maybe even all three games, even though I like flying, but um the prices are, are ridiculous, frankly. And again, I mean us us qualifying for the Copa tells you that it's not all bad and doom and gloom in Jamaica now because that to me is one of the most positive things we have done. It sets us up to have a, a, a basis to go into the World Cup qualifiers, um thinking ahead. So <laughs> To me, is is really. I mean, nothing better couldn't have happened to us <laughs> more than us qualifying for the Copa, because um, what I what I see is a steady 
steady improvement, a steady um, steady climb from, from us, which is necessary. I am weary when we perform too good in Gold Cup and, and this tournament, though, because every time we do that, when we go in the World Cup qualifier, like we, we, we get complacent. You remember? We got a World Cup yeah. final and then we never pass the first round the next time. And that is why I am so. We could have probably done better some of the games, but I prefer the steady improvement. Little by little by little. So when we go to the World Cup qualifier, we're still improving little by little. That's really what I'm hoping for. And and my hope is that um the Gold Cup we just came off, we're semi-final, the Copa America, which give a lot of exposure to the team. I'm hoping it does a couple of things. One is continue to build a camaraderie amongst the team. Yeah. Help the coach in terms of what how he wants to play, but also help with recruiting. Yes. And right. also because the more you play in those high profile competitions, it's more players will want to come to join. Um, and I think the coach has done a magnificent job in recruiting. I mean, I I mean he made a report and I and I saw the list, you know, of all the players. Um the ones that he has you know, he wants to recruit, working towards that. Really, really, I mean, if we can get those players, we, <laughs> I think we're in the World Cup, I must say. Yeah, and I, I, my hope is that not only do we get the players, but they're available for all the games, right? Because the qualifiers, the people are saying we're rubber stamp to make the World Cup. That's not the case. No, the qualifiers are in FIFA window, so they, they should come. They right. should be, they'll be able to come. So I'm just hoping that they, they, they you know, yeah, you're right. They, it don't make sense. They must come for the World Cup alone. They need to come and help get us there. So by the time we reach World Cup, we're still building again. So we don't go in the World Cup and just lose the matches mm. and just come back home. You know? Okay. Well, I know where management went to Ruda because I have to run. My son is coming to check me. I know I have no right. management. I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to go close now. It's always good talking with you. It's here. Mr. Um Jason Guna say start this channel. <laughs> I'm hoping to do that in about a month's time because I have a lot to talk about. Not just about football anyway, but life in general. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I would welcome you to come and try to beat me because it'd be good to have you on actually yeah. talking. You know what I want to, but I don't want to talk to you on this program. <laughs> right. I want you to come on your program so everybody will come back for the rematch. <laughs> <laughs> we can't we can, we can debate certainty. We can't debate certainty. <laughs> But anyway, I don't know where Manning's man is, and I have to click off Manning's yeah, man. I'm not, let me see if we can find him, actually. I have uh, no idea where he is. Let me just try to call him and see what's happening, because he just <laughs> he just disappeared every one program. I don't understand how that works. It takes a long. I mean, you need to get some some internet. I want to finish the program, and he's not. Yeah. Go ahead. Son, my son may have came and left, because I was supposed to be at the door. Mm. <laughs> he's not answering either. <laughs> I have no idea what this is about. I hope I'm He's not picking up. Well, you know what? I'll close the program, Rudolph, yeah. because I don't know what happened. Yeah, man. Go ahead. All right, Rudolph, it's all good. Thanks yeah, a lot. And we'll yeah. talk. Okay. All right.